Chapter 3000, A-117 SARS fully activated boom. Yet again, the two of them clashed simply with their fists. This time, their punches were even stronger than the last. The two once more parted, and Shi Yang's aura grew to another level, as if he had endless power to draw on. Aliath Star Long Chen stamped on the air and directly charged back at his opponent, his aura rising as well. Life Fate Star Enlightenment Palace Star Divine Gate Star Nethergate Star with every exchange, Long Chen's aura grew wildly. At this moment, his power caused the sky to rumble and the earth to crack. When endless violet kai flowed amongst his starry sea, the world shuddered, and the sun and moon lost their light. At first, Xi Yang had placed Long Chen in his eyes because as Long Chen's aura rose, so did his. However, once the Nethergate star activated, an unstoppable force blasted him away. Chi Yang was forced back. Could it be that Long Chen's physical body is even stronger than an immemorial devil corpse? Some people amongst the devil race couldn't help crying out in disbelief. With six punches, Long Chen activated six stars. Fortunately, he had an expert like Chi Yang helping him unleash his power or just by relying on himself and having no target to attack, it would be difficult for him to activate them all in one go. At this moment, both of Shi Yang's heads roared furiously, and his green fur lit up. The countless eyes within his manifestation also began to shine. After that, blood-colored rays of light shot out of those eyes, illuminating his body. Through the layers of green fur, it was possible to see the corpse spots on his body. Moreover, every corpse spot contained a rune that emitted terrifying auras. Retreat. A shocked cry rang out. People suddenly found that the ground beneath their feet was moving. The yellow soil was becoming black, and black mist floated out of it. There were a lot of corpses lying on the ground after being slain by Xia Chen and Guo Ran. Amongst them were many supreme heavenly geniuses. When the black soil spread, those corpses instantly corroded and merged into the black soil. It was like a strange energy devoured them into the earth. This entire world directly became a cemetery, and the aura of death and rock filled the air. It was a terrifying aura that made others flee. Everyone retreated except for Xia Chen, Guo Ran, and Uziopian. This aura of decay was blocked by Long Chen's astral energy, so they weren't afraid of it. Long Chen, is it? Good. You are a bit interesting. But do you really think you can contend with my corpse, devil race with just this? You are too naive. Chi Yang then let out a punch, and a large mass of space collapsed. As the entire world twisted, the terrifying pressure made everyone jump. This punch actually suppressed the laws. When the corpse spot runes on Xi Yang's body began to move, violent auras with an ancient desolate flavor came from them. It was as if people could see a piece of just how terrifying this ancient corpse was back when it was alive. The Grand Tao has declined. The laws are incomplete. With just you alone, you think you can challenge me? You will pay the price for your foolishness. This corpse that I obtained is that of a yin-yang blood devil from the immemorial era. It was a legendary expert with the purest blood devil bloodline. Although it's been a trillion years, its core blood has yet to dry up. I grew up with it by my side, constantly nourishing it with my blood and soul until I ultimately merged with it. Now that I've reached the immortal king realm, I can finally activate that blood. Today, I will show everyone just how terrifying the experts of the immemorial era are. Xi Yang's two heads spoke at the same time, and all four eyes were locked onto Long Chen. The corpse Kai swirled around him like wailing ghouls. Suddenly, Xi Yang made his move. Countless corpse spots on one of his arms lit up like stars. After that, he raised his arm and unleashed a punch that tore through heaven and earth, 
turning the space that Long Chen was in into nothingness. Blood. Everyone was stunned. This attack was sudden and terrifying, turning the space that Long Chen was in into a black vortex. It then devoured heaven and earth, and the intense rumbling shook people's ears. This was an apocalyptic power. Seeing this scene, people felt like their souls would be sucked into that black vortex. Even Guo Ran and Xia Chen were shocked. They had not expected Xi Yang to be this powerful. However, while this terrifying attack tore through space, it missed. Long Chen seemed to teleport, appearing to the right of the vortex. He was only a few meters from the vortex, like just one step would draw him inside. But that vortex was like a chained dog, and no matter how it howled and raged, it could not bite Long Chen. Countless people stared in shock at the two of them. That attack was like lightning, giving people no chance to react, but Long Chen was like a phantom. No one even saw how he had dodged. Just one attack and one dodge displayed their shocking reaction speed. This was a fighting skill refined through countless brushes against death. So that's the case. The immemorial era's experts have primal chaos chi in their bloodline, which allows them to give birth to such rune and this kind of physical body. Long Chen eyed the runes on Xi Yang's body. Those runes contained the aura of the immemorial era. Within this aura, Long Chen could also sense the aura of primal chaos. In the immemorial era, the primal chaos chi was still abundant. Only such an environment could produce such terrifying life forms. Zayed Guhong had said that the current era's life form could not compare to those from the archaic era and the archaic era could not compare to the immemorial era. In the same case, the immemorial era was also a far cry from the primal chaos era. It was because the environment of the nine heavens and ten lands had changed. By this era, primal chaos chi was not the only thing that was gone. Even the spiritual chi was no longer as dense, and the heavenly Tao's were incomplete. Thus, Zayed Yuhong said, that it was very difficult for the current era's people to surpass their predecessors. It wasn't because they had regressed, but because the world had. People could not defy the heavens. The immemorial era isn't something that you can imagine. That era's devil race was the master of this world. Although this devil corpse contains only a trace of primal chaos chi, as long as its source is not destroyed, I will absorb the flood of primal chaos chi that will come when the heavenly wall of the three thousand worlds is torn open. After that, my core will be fully activated, and no one will be a match for me. But unfortunately, you will not be able to see that because you will be dying today. This trace of primal chaos chi is enough to kill you many times over. Countless eyes stared at Long Chen from Shi Yang's manifestation. This time, he was smart and used his manifestation to lock down Long Chen, not giving him a chance to dodge. Died. Shi Yang shouted and the corpse spots on his body once more lit up. Another fist then tore through heaven and earth. Violet Tower Star The Violet Tower Star beneath Long Chen's danshan suddenly shook. After that, a violet sun lit up within his starry sea. Boom! When the Violet Tower star lit up, the complete seven-star battle armor was activated and the Violet Kai within Long Chen's body ignited. The next moment, the Violet Kai wave erupted and struck Qi Yang. He could only let out a grunt and was blown back. What? This time, people's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. They didn't dare to believe what they were seeing. Chapter 3000 802 heaven shaking power seven stars lit up within the starry sea behind Long Chen. After that, his seven colored divine ring spun, and the violet kai within his starry sea ignited, unleashing violet flames that burned the sky. The violet kai caused a pillar of violet flame to soar into the sky, casting the world in a violet hue. Within that holy violet light, Long Chen appeared to be in a violet blood battle armor. 
he was an existence that stood at the peak of the world overlooking all others shi yang was directly blown away by this aura xia chen and guo ran were ecstatic this was their boss he had never disappointed them having become an immortal king long chen once more showed off his unmatched power one that was above all other heavenly geniuses the power that shi yang had previously displayed had made countless people feel despair but when long chen's violet kai appeared he was like a heavenly emperor an existence that stood above the rest of the world he made shi yang appear minuscule corpse devil dao ten thousand loss returned to the source shi yang roared furiously after being blown back his manifestation was then devoured by the corpse spots on his body, and those corpse spots became like eyes, emitting strange auras. Who, even against the full power Long Chen, Shi Yang showed no fear. He still charged back. Seeing this, Long Chen spread his arms and roared. That roar was like a dragon cry, and the violet kai around his body once more intensified. The previous aura was already shocking enough, but now his aura suddenly leaped by several times. His previous aura was like a reservoir being discharged. But now it was like a flooding river, completely overflowing without holding anything back. Violet ripples formed into a wall that spread, pressing against heaven and earth. Shi Yan was directly struck by this violet wall and sent tumbling back. At the same time, the void was torn asunder, and Shi Yang left a giant ditch within a mountain range. This time, even Yuo Ran and Xia Chen jumped in shock. Although they knew that Long Chen was powerful, they had not expected him to have grown by this much. This power was practically monstrous. Long Chen clenched his fists. Violet Kai rumbled around him. It was like millions of violet dragons were revolving around him. Heaven and earth rumbled, and the Grand Dao quivered. After unleashing his full power, Long Chen caused the three thousand worlds to feel fear. The heavenly Daos even submitted. When Long Chen activated the seven star battle armor, the violet Kai within the one hundred eight thousand stars ignited. After that, the violet kai in his meridians grew even more solid, starting to compress from gaseous to liquid. It was like violet blood. Moreover, when the violet kai became violet blood, Long Chen felt endless power erupting within him. If he didn't unleash it, he would blow up. Thus, Long Chen roared and released this aura not in order to attack Shi Yang, but simply because he had no other choice. When this wild power was unleashed, Long Chen felt all the turbid kai and impurities within his body be directly expelled. He felt like his body had suddenly become flawless. His violet kai grew increasingly pure. At this moment, the violet flames around him slowly settled. His aura calmed down, and his starry sea once more began to circulate properly. However, once the seven-star battle armor was condensed, the starry sea circulation was already completely different. Endless violet kai was born as the starry sea circulated, pouring through Long Chen's body, nourishing his flesh and blood, and providing him with unending power. When his aura slowly settled, he felt immense power well up within him. The power that he had just released was out of control. He had no choice but to release it. But now, all his power was under his control. This is the seven-star battle armor's power. Even I feel afraid of its power. Long Chen looked at his own fist. Violet Kai swirled around it, and the violet Kai within his meridians was leaking a bit out of his skin. This signified that the seven-star battle armor's power was too great, to the point that his meridians were unable to completely seal the power of the violet kai within his body, so a portion of it leaked out. To put it frankly, the current Long Chen was leaking power. However, even while leaking, Long Chen felt an immense reserve of energy within him. It even terrified himself. Just then, 
Shi Yang came charging back with a distorted face due to his fury. Having been forced back by Long Chen's twice was an immense humiliation to him. Nine Revolution Corpse Devil Fist. As Shi Yang roared, the corpse spots on his fist lit up. Lines then flowed from all his corpse spots to his fist, and it blazed with divine light like a sun. From it, the aura of primal chaos erupted. Oh, a heaven-shaking explosion erupted. What shocked everyone was that Shi Yang's fist directly struck Long Chen's chest, and Long Chen actually didn't block it. Yu Xiaokin covered her mouth in horror. She didn't understand why Long Chen didn't dodge. After being struck, Long Chen didn't budge. The clothing on his chest was blasted apart, fluttering through the air in scraps. This was truly a world-shaking punch, but other than his clothes being damaged, Long Chen's body wasn't damaged. Seeing this scene, everyone was stunned. Xi Yang was just as surprised as he looked at his own fist. This full power punch of his actually hadn't injured Long Chen in the slightest. It had to be known that this attack contained his primal chaos aura. This primal chaos aura wasn't something that he would use lightly, as it stemmed from the remnant primal chaos Kai left within the corpse. When he used it, he was unrivaled. Yet, Long Chen simply allowed such an attack to strike him and came out uninjured. As a result, Xi Yang was completely dumbfounded by the strength of Long Chen's physical body. What immemorial devil corpse? What primal chaos Kai? Trash. Long Chen directly slapped Xi Yang's stunned face. His face deformed, and his head was no longer in the right shape. The immense power sent him tumbling back. Pun. The devil experts in his way shouted in horror. This time, he wasn't flying into the distance but toward them. Oh, he was too fast, and it was too late for them to dodge. Xi Yang's body then smashed through their midst, making them cry out in horror. It was unknown how many devil experts were directly killed by that one violent blow. The thing that caused them the most despair was that the terrifying corpse poison overflowing from Shi Yang's body spread and infected countless experts. Their bodies then quickly rotted, turning into putrid corpses. The devil experts had originally had this place surrounded, but they were now in chaos and fled in every direction, no longer bothering with keeping Yu Xiaokian, Xia Chen, and Guo Ran locked inside. Shi Yang roared furiously and shot out of the ground, but Long Chen already descended from the heavens and kicked him in the face. Shi Yang and Long Chen's bodies instantly smashed into the ground, their figures vanishing. After that, the earth swelled and the experts on the ground were thrown into the air. In just a few breaths' time, the earth swelled and suddenly exploded again. Shi Yang came flying out, but his flying posture was extremely odd. The back of his head was next to his ankles like his body had been snapped in half. Damn, boss really is going wild. Yuo Ran and Xia Chen were excited to see this. They were seeing their boss's unrivaled state once again. Chapter 3803 Full Power Attack Shi Yang's body flew out, and his figure suddenly shook in the sky. The next moment, people were shocked to notice that Long Chen had somehow appeared there, waiting right above Shi Yang's body. What a fast movement, Arch! Boom! Long Chen's foot stamped down on Shi Yang's stomach. He was originally so bent that the back of his head was next to his ankles. Now his body bent the other way, and he suddenly flew back down. A giant ripple spread from the impact tearing through the void with an ear-piercing sound. Shi Yang's body then smashed into the ground, causing the world to quiver. This power was truly frightening. Everyone was dumbfounded now. The power that Shi Yang had previously displayed was absolutely terrifying. But in front of Long Chen, he became a sandbag to be beaten, unable to retaliate in the slightest. Oh, 
the earth exploded and Shi Yang came flying out once more. Seeing this scene, people were shocked to find that even after receiving such a terrifying blow, his body wasn't damaged in the slightest. This immemorial devil corpse is too terrifying, isn't it? It's harder than a world domain divine item. Long Chen's power is so terrifying that an ordinary supreme expert won't be able to receive a single attack from him. Even the wind from his fist could probably kill them. Too terrifying, simply too terrifying. The name of an immemorial devil corpse is not for nothing. But Long Chen's power is not inferior to it at all. Both of them are monsters. Just as countless people were discussing things in shock, Shi Yang stabilized himself in the sky. His four eyes glared at Long Chen darkly. I didn't expect you to actually have some ability. But so what? My body comes from the immemorial era, and it was nourished by primal chaos Kai. This unbreakable body can't be damaged by you. Oh, as a result, just as he said this, Long Chen appeared above him and punched his head. The immense power once more caused his head to deform. However, what shocked Long Chen was that Shi Yang's body was very strange. Even disregarding its resistance to beatings, its self-recovery ability was astonishing. Can't be damaged. Let's see how I beat you into a meat pancake. Long Chen snorted and his fists began to rain down a tempest of punches on Shi Yang. The fist images filled the sky. Every punch from Long Chen had immense weight behind it as it smashed into Shi Yang's body. He was beaten like dough, constantly changing form. However, Shi Yang's body would quickly recover every time. Long Chen's destructive power was unable to harm him. Just this little bit of power? You really are a foolish human. Even as Shi Yang was being badly beaten, he continuously mocked Long Chen. Long Chen, don't fall for it. Since he can't beat you, he's using his physical body to slowly exhaust your energy, warned Yu Ziaokian. This warning made countless people understand. Shi Yang was helpless to do anything to Long Chen, but he also didn't want to retreat. Thus, he relied on his unbreakable body to exhaust Long Chen's energy. Once Long Chen was exhausted, he would counterattack. Slut! Shut your mouth! Shi Yang cursed furiously, only to be punched in the face again and sent flying. However, this time, people were shocked to find that his nose broke, and fresh blood slowly flowed out. What? Everyone was stunned. Previously, Long Chen had landed so many punches with no effect. Why was it that the last punch caused Chi Yang's nose to bleed? Starry spots had now appeared on Long Chen's fist. Those stars twinkled, possessing immense astral energy that condensed on his fist. It was Long Chen's first time drawing the power of the stars into his fist. Previously, he had only dared to draw this astral energy into the Minghong saber. It was only now that his physical body had been greatly improved and his violet kai was abundant that he dared to test this. This creativity stemmed from the attacks from the nine star heirs in the heavenly tribulation. They were able to activate the seven star battle armor and condense stars on their fists. Thus, Long Chen also tried it. However, he didn't dare to do it like the nine star heirs. They had directly drawn the power of the seven stars to their fists, while Long Chen was drawing astral energy into his body and then condensing it on his fists. He had just condensed the seven star battle armor, and his body wasn't completely used to it yet. Some of his power was being dissipated naturally. This leak might make his aura appear astonishing, but it actually meant that he was unable to draw out his full potential. However, when Long Chen started drawing astral energy into his body and into his fist, it no longer leaked. His power was fully concentrated. Thus, this simple punch actually damaged Shi Yang's unbreakable body. How did you? Shi Yang was shocked. A touch of fear finally appeared in his eyes. 
but the response was Long Chen charging back at him. Long Chen was as quick as lightning. Even though Xi Yang did his best to dodge, Long Chen still landed a punch to his jaw, causing more blood to spray. His jaw was directly broken. Ah! Uh, Xi Yang's other mouth let out a miserable shriek. Just then, stars flowed on top of Long Chen's left fist. His punch squarely landed on Xi Yang's head, blowing it apart like a hammer striking a melon. Is your mouth still so slutty now? Long Chen stamped his foot on Xi Yang's chest. The sound of bones breaking made people wince. Xi Yang's chest caved in and his back was almost pierced through. Fresh blood gushed out. After this kick, Xi Ying's aura plummeted. He was finally given a severe injury. Ignite all your violet kai and condense it into one attack. Suddenly, the dragon expert's voice rang out in his mind. Senior, I can't. It's still difficult for me to control the seven star battle armor's power. If I do that, I'll also be injured. Long Chen jumped in shock. This dragon expert actually wanted him to erupt in one attack. It had to be known that he was still in his peak condition and had over 80% of his violet kai. If he were to unleash it all in one attack, he might very likely die. There's no time to explain. If I tell you to do something, then do it. I won't harm you, said the dragon expert. Long Chen clenched his teeth. He could fully trust the dragon expert. Although he knew that he would definitely be injured after such an attack, he still chose to trust the dragon expert. Boom! An explosive sound came from Long Chen's body as his violet kai erupted in a blazing fire. His entire body was burning. At the same time, his meridians rapidly compressed. All the violet kai flowing through them was gushing out in one go. It needed to be squeezed to be forced through. As his meridians squeezed down on his violet kai, his violet kai produced a rebound force. A sharp ache came from his meridians as a result. During normal times, Long Chen would definitely give up on this. But the dragon expert had already told him to do so, so he clenched his teeth and continued. At this moment, Xi Ying let out a terrified cry. He found that he was completely locked down by Long Chen's aura and couldn't move. His intuition told him that he would soon die. Blood burial rebirth, corpse devil sacrifice. Xi Yang roared and formed hand seals. Suddenly, all the devil experts around exploded, transforming into blood mist that he absorbed. He then condensed it into a giant, blood-colored shield. He had actually sacrificed tens of millions of devil experts in one go, using their power to save his own life. Just then, Long Chen roared. 999 stars lit up on his fist, and he smashed it at Xi Yang. When this fist attacked, all sound vanished. All that people could hear were their own heartbeats. Chapter 3804 One Punch Annihilates Xi Yang It's Useless. No matter how strong you are, you can't break a barrier made out of the lives of millions of people, roared Xi Yang furiously. Boom. His response was Long Chen's starry fist. This fist was one that could destroy the heavens. It smashed into the blood-colored shield, tearing through it like paper. It had almost no effect. After that, it didn't actually end up striking Xi Yang. Instead, the divine might of the stars directly shattered Xi Yang's body and blew him up into chunks of flesh that flew through the air. The fist continued striking through the void and tearing through the wall of this world. A giant black hole then appeared. Cracks appeared within this black hole. It was as if even the spatial wall within the black hole was also broken by this fist. When those cracks appeared, the purest form of aura came from the black hole. This aura contained a desolate flavor. It cleansed the soul and nourished the body. When this aura appeared, Long Chen felt like a dry riverbed that was finally being rained on. It wasn't a powerful aura. 
it was just like the slightest breeze but when this aura appeared the broken laws of space instantly healed and the scars on the earth vanished this aura seemed to possess a supreme magical power the scars to heaven and earth were instantly healed by it that aura was the most ancient primeval power of heaven and earth primal chaos kai long chan was shocked he hastily circulated his divine ring to absorb this aura behind him Xia Chen, Yuo Ran, and Yu Xiaokian also sensed it, without him having to say anything. They also crazily sucked in that primal chaos Kai. In the distance, the Sacred Pill Hall, Bloodkill Hall, Nine Underworld Hall, and the other forces experts turned red-eyed. This was primal chaos Kai, something that everyone who had gone to the Three Thousand Worlds had come for. Absorbing this primal chaos, Kai was a huge opportunity. It would allow them to directly condense a heavenly Tao crown. Condensing a heavenly Tao crown was equivalent to gaining the recognition of heaven and earth or possessing an authority pass to go anywhere. As long as they unleashed the heavenly Tao crown, the laws of the heavenly Tao's would obey them. That was something that every immortal king dreamed of obtaining. Regretfully, the cracks in the black hole healed quickly, and the primal chaos Kai faded with it. The black hole also healed as if nothing had happened. No, I just got that feeling. How can it be gone now? cried out Guo Ran. Xia Chen and Yu Xiaokian looked at him and jumped. Both of them cried out in shock. A dim halo of light had appeared behind Guo Ran's head. Although it wasn't particularly clear, it was definitely there. A heavenly Tao crown? No way. Xia Chen's eyes almost popped out of their sockets when he saw this halo. Wasn't this fellow too strong? It had to be known that Guo Ran had only absorbed the tiniest bit of primal chaos Kai. Xia Chen and Yu Xiaokian had also only absorbed the tiniest bit. They felt their bodies and souls be nourished, as if a new kind of energy had appeared in their bodies. However, other than that, they didn't feel much else. But Guo Ren had directly summoned the legendary Heavenly Tao crown. How could this fellow be so lucky? Long Chen. Suddenly, Yu Xiaokian cried out and rushed to Long Chen's side. He was as pale as paper. Blood was pouring out of his ears nose and eyes it was a frightening sight yu Xiaokian pressed her hands on his back about to share her energy with him no need call over mo Nian. we have to leave quickly long chen was in immense pain he even felt dizzy and did his best to remain clear-headed just then mo Nian came flying back his aura was a bit weaker now clearly his battle with Yin Changsheng had also been very intense. Mo Nian, your belt. Guo Ran's sharp eye suddenly noticed the jade belt around Mo Nian's waist. That belt was a bit familiar. When Daddy Mo makes his move, how can he leave with no benefits? Let's go. There's a large group of experts coming. What the? What happened to you? Mo Nian jumped in shock when he saw Long Chen thinking that he was seriously injured. Xia Chen then activated his formation disk, and the five of them instantly vanished. Boop! A flame spear pierced through the space that they had just been in. Yin Tingsheng appeared, not alone, calm, he was surrounded by flames, and his eyes were full of chilly killing intent. His aura had also weakened, just like Mo Nian's. The sacred pill hall's disciples noticed that his jade belt was gone, and they instantly thought of how Mo Nian hadn't been wearing a belt before. Mo Nian had actually taken Yin Chengsheng's belt. Bastard! Yin Chengsheng cursed furiously, smashing his spear in the air to vent. The berserk power caused the void to shudder. But Long Chen and the others had long since vanished. Just then, a flame killin appeared beside him and roared. Yin Chang Sheng furiously shouted, He was to match for me, or why would he run? If we joined forces, 
even if we killed him it would be an absolute humiliation when he had fought mo Nyan, he had done so by himself not summoning his flame killin to assist him yin cheng sheng had his own pride after losing out because of long chen he decided that he wanted to beat long chen on his own however he hadn't expected mo Nyan to be so terrifying mo Nyan wasn't just skilled in running away but was also extremely powerful hence the two of them had fought all out for so long without determining a victor but the most infuriating thing was that his world the main divine item the divine flame jade belt had been taken by mo Nyan. even disregarding the value of the belt losing it was an indescribable humiliation most hateful of all mo Nyan's mouth was too treacherous he had constantly talked while fighting the two had originally been fighting evenly but due to his rage yin chang sheng's aura ended up in disarray resulting in mo Nyan suppressing him he almost coughed up blood from rage after that mo Nyan intentionally showed off his waist as they fought showing off his spoils of battle that infuriating appearance of his maid yin chang sheng fume just then countless experts came rushing over from all directions they were clearly drawn over by the disturbance but they came too late everything was already over long chen mo Nyan, i swear that i will tear you into a million pieces yin chang sheng roared his voice filled with killing intent he had never hated two people so much in his life thus at this moment the void quivered long chen and the others reappeared long chen what happened to you yu Xiaokian held long chen worriedly i'm fine i injured my own meridians with my power help guard me i'll use that new primal chaos kai to heal long chen smiled comfortingly and sat on the ground forming hand seals primal chaos or then circulated within his body chapter three thousand eight hundred five different path long chen's meridians were riddled with tiny holes and scars they were almost broken the last fight had been incredibly dangerous it had to be known that unleashing all your power in one attack was innately a kind of taboo as this was entirely a self-damaging fighting style you might not even be able to hurt your opponent before killing yourself furthermore long chen had just condensed the seven star battle armor and was unable to fully control this new power yet such a full power attack had been no different from courting death long chen normally wouldn't make such a low-level mistake but the dragon expert had told him to do so so he had done so as expected this attack almost crippled him however long chen hadn't expected this injury to get him some primal chaos kai he couldn't help prostrating himself in admiration toward this dragon expert although his meridians were badly damaged as long as he was given some time it wouldn't be difficult to heal them after all he had quite a bit of primal chaos kai in his body now and seemed to understand the dragon expert's intentions he directly started circulating the primal chaos kai through his damaged meridians as expected when this primal chaos kai poured through his meridians the wounds quickly healed furthermore they were now several times thicker and ten times tougher than before long chan was delighted by this now his violet kai would no longer leak and he would also be able to directly summon the seven star battle armor the reason that he had been unable to fully control the seven star battle armor's power was because it was too powerful to the point that his meridians couldn't endure it furthermore with his meridians pushed to their limit they naturally ended up releasing a bit of violet kai to guarantee their proper function as a result much of his violet kai was wasted it was like someone who could only lift a hundred pounds suddenly wielding a weapon that was two hundred pounds there was no way for them to properly use it they would have to cut away a part of it so that they could lift it once you reached the limit that you could lift you would let your body slowly acclimate to it and slowly increase the weight again 
for Long Chen, his meridians were the foundation of how much power he could use. However, even his toughened meridians from the tribulation were still unable to endure the full power of the seven star battle armor. But now, with the nourishment of the primal chaos Kai, his almost crippled meridians were rebuilt. Their width didn't change, but their strength and elasticity increased by many times. He would no longer have to worry about his Kai leaking. In other words, the current Long Chen could fully control the Seven Star Battle Armor's power. He had the urge to charge back right now and keep fighting. However, thinking about it, he had just fought such an immense battle and used up almost all of his Violet Kai, so he knew he shouldn't do it. But it went, without saying, at his trust in the Dragon Expert had reached an almost naive level. Senior, you really are amazing. You knew that my attack would have such benefits transmitted Long Chen. Based on my predictions, you should have gained more benefits. I don't mean to knock you down, but amongst nine star heirs in the same realm, you can only count as average. You wouldn't even be considered as above average, sighed the dragon expert. What? How can that be? Even though I am so powerful now, asked Long Chen, dismayed. It had to be known that the current Long Chen didn't even know just how terrifyingly powerful he was. After advancing, he was no longer the old Long Chen. He felt like he could rampage wherever he went. However, the dragon expert's words were like a bucket of ice water dumped over his head. He was shocked and refused to believe that he was that lacking. You must accept this reality. I've seen many nine-star heirs and their seven-star battle armors. Your combat power can only be considered average amongst them. But don't look down on yourself. It isn't that you didn't work hard enough for our lacking talent. Your nine-star hegemon body art is only the base outline without the accompanying battle skills. After all, the nine-star hegemon body art's cultivation technique has a set of battle skills with it. For you to reach this level is already not bad, comforted the dragon expert. This comfort only made Long Chen feel more disappointed. He was someone extremely confident in himself, so this evaluation made him feel hollow. It was difficult to endure. Senior, you must know the nine star hegemon body arts battle skills, right? Probed Long Chen. I don't. The secret arts of the Nine Stars are only known by the Nine Star Line. Outsiders cannot comprehend them. Also, the Starry River Line can be considered a branch of the Nine Star Line. Although your auras might be a bit similar, in terms of true power, it is like a calm river compared to a vast sea. There is no comparison as the two are not on the same level. Even if I knew the battle skills of the Nine Star Line, it would be meaningless. And even if other nine-star heirs were to transmit them to you, it would mean nothing to you, said the dragon expert. What are you talking about? Long Chen was startled. Do you not know yourself? Ever since the five-star battle armor, your path changed. You forcibly changed the cultivation path of the nine-star hegemon body art, and there is no going back let alone me, even the creator of the nine-star hegemon body art would not be able to change it, said the dragon expert. Oh, that's right. I changed the orbit of the six-point star, strengthening it. In other words, the seven-star battle armor is still in its original state, and due to my different cultivation path, it is weaker. If I can change this state, based on my past experience, its power should rise to at least another level. Thinking of that, Long Chen's dismay was burned away by excitement. Back when he had first changed the nine-star hegemon body art, he had a feeling that his future path would not be easy to walk. But since he had started down this path, he wouldn't regret it. He also believed in himself. He would have the ability to walk a different path one that would not be any inferior to the original nine-star hegemon body art. Ahaha, not bad. Youngsters should have this kind of drive. 
they need the ambition to climb over difficulties. This is why I was willing to help you back then. That drive to never accept defeat was just like mine back in the day. Who knows whether it's good or bad that you changed the cultivation path of the nine-star hegemon body art. Since everything is unknown, you can just press onward without regrets. However, the current you still need to accumulate more power. If you wish to change the seven-star battle armor, you will need to fully master the current seven-star battle armor. Your meridians went through the baptism of heavenly tribulation and you had the aid of nine-star heirs. Now, you even repaired them with primal chaos chi. Your meridians are now strong enough, and you are only lacking one thing, said the dragon expert. What is it? asked Long Chen hastily. What you are missing is my dragon king essence blood. Chapter 3806 The most evil race is the human race. Changing the nine star hegemon body art can be said to be more difficult than ascending the heavens. The last two times, you were able to succeed due to a combination of smarts, power, and luck. But it will be different this time. The seven star battle armor can be considered a dividing line for the nine star heirs. Before the seven stars, all nine star heirs are around the same level. But after condensing the seven star, a difference will be shown due to their individual talent, willpower, aptitude, perseverance, intelligence, concentration, and other factors. The difference between them widens at the seventh star. Have you not found that even though they all condensed the seven star battle armor, only one person amongst the nine star heirs was capable of tearing apart the heavenly tribulation with his bare hands? He shattered the will of the heavenly tribulation, denying the heavenly tribulation from enslaving the nine star heirs. That is the difference. The heavenly river blood sea was created from one billion beast venerates dying alongside three thousand nine star heirs. But in truth, half of those billion beast venerates were killed by that person. That person also wasn't killed by the beast venerates, but died to a different race, said the dragon expert. Whose hands did he die by? asked Long Chen furiously. Every nine star heir was a hot blooded man a true warrior. He wanted to avenge them. The person who killed him is also dead, so it would be meaningless for you to know. That battle back then is not something that you can imagine. All you need to know is that without a corresponding power, everything else is worthless. Fame, position, dignity, pride, they mean nothing. The culture and civilization of the cultivation world that is nonsense that your human race uses to deceive themselves and others. This world has always been a wild world of savages. It is always power that decides everything. Your human race's most foolish point is that you wish to use your kindness to correct evil life forms, all without understanding that the most evil race is your human race, said the dragon expert. Hearing that, Long Chen sank into thought. He ultimately bitterly smiled and said, Although it hurts to hear, I have to agree with you. Your human race is the most contradictory race. Good and evil, light and dark, they all merge deep within your soul. That is why your human race's character changes the most. Kindness and evil are decided by just a single thought. You are a life form that walks between two extremes. No one in this world can understand you, not even yourselves. I once personally witnessed your human race walk to glory. I also saw you destroy your own divine altar and fall from it. Most laughable of all, even your human race doesn't know why you did so. As for myself, even as a spectator, I don't understand why such a scene would play out. The dragon expert sighed with endless memories flowing through its mind. Senior doesn't need to sigh. Once I create my own divine altar high above the ten thousand Daos, such a thing will never occur, said Long Chen. You have such assurance, said the dragon expert curiously. Yes, 
I am absolutely assured. As long as I don't die, I will definitely reach the peak. As long as I reach the peak, this world will change, because of me, said Long Chen confidently. The dragon expert was silent for a while before saying, Your human race isn't trustworthy. However, I am willing to trust you. Little fellow, your character is very much to my taste. He he then trust me. That trust won't be mistaken, said Long Chen. With the support of an existence living from the primal chaos era, he felt like his future prospects were limitless. Senior, why is it that after absorbing so much primal chaos, Kai, I don't feel anything, while my brother absorbed less than one percent of what I absorbed and already condensed an embryonic heavenly Dao crown? That fellow is as weak as a chicken. He won't be able to absorb much primal chaos Kai in total. However, his luck is definitely excellent, though. The heavenly Daos look after him. This is what it means for the Tao of the heavens to always be fair. Amongst experts in the same realm, he is definitely the one with the weakest aptitude. The heavenly Tao's naturally give him some compensation. Thus, he is definitely one of the fastest to condense a heavenly Tao crown, said the dragon expert lightly. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. He only glanced at Yuo Ran bragging in the distance. If he were to tell him the truth, this fellow might start crying. However, thinking about it, Guo Ran's current power was thanks to Long Chen forcibly dragging him up. But his natural talent and attitude couldn't be changed. Perhaps Guo Ran truly was powerful now, but in the eyes of heavenly Daos, he was a chicken that could not be any weaker. For a weak chicken to cultivate to this point, Perhaps the heavenly Daos were moved and took pity on him, looking after him a bit more. Senior, when will it be time to take your dragon scale? Asked Long Chen. Now still isn't the time. I am still calculating fate. When the moment comes, I will naturally tell you. Right now. You can do whatever you want to do, said the dragon expert. Then... Can I try breaking through the void again to absorb more primal chaos kai? Asked Long Chen. Primal chaos kai is like a dragon vein. It is in constant motion, so you wouldn't be able to run into it every time. Furthermore, now still isn't time for the dragon vein to formally appear. There's no rush to condense a heavenly Tao crown. You also don't need to worry about the primal chaos kind not appearing before the three thousand worlds close. The three thousand worlds cannot close without that primal chaos kai appearing, said the dragon expert. Since this method wouldn't work, Long Chen gave up on it. He then began circulating the nine-star hegemon body art to quickly restore his violet kai. With his starry sea births violet kai manifestation, his 108,000 stars were like wells from which his violet kai burst out. In less than half a day, his violet kai was 80% restored. After that, he left his seclusion. As long as he didn't go to fight right away, his violet kai would be fully restored in a few hours. There was no need to meticulously focus on restoring it. By the time he had recovered to 80%, Mo Nain and Yu Ziaokian had reached about the same point. As for Guo Ran and Zia Chen, they had fully recovered. Guo Ran in particular didn't even need to focus and meditate to recover. He just needed to activate his embryonic heavenly Tao crown, and he quickly recovered. He was fully recovered in just an hour. The current Guo Ran was delighted and constantly studying his heavenly Tao crown. However, every person's heavenly Tao crown was unique, just like their manifestation. Each heavenly Tao crown possessed its own unique abilities, and each person would need to research those abilities themselves. Long Chen felt like Guo Ran's heavenly Tao crown would probably not have any special abilities. After all, those special abilities were based on a person's talent, willpower, and hard work. This fellow was lacking in all areas, but Long Chen didn't want to knock him down, so he just let him study it. 
However, even just this rapid recovery ability was already heaven-defying. It essentially provided him with endless energy. Hyo Ran mostly relied on his battle armor to fight, so his own personal exhaustion was low. With this heavenly Dao crown, his combat endurance would probably be amazing. Let's go back to Silver Moon City first, and we'll bring our brothers back to Clear Sky City. The Dragon Blood Legion is going to reunite. After Long Chen said this, Zaya Chen and Guo Ran's blood heated up. That was especially true for Guo Ran, the general of the Legion. He cried out excitedly. Chapter 3807 Heavenly Tomb The flying boat slowly flew through the air, and only Long Chen and Yu Ziokian were in the rear room. Yu Ziokian was nestled against Long Chen's chest with a warm smile. Yu Ziokian narrated what had happened to her after ascending. She had directly landed in the original Devil Races, ancestral land obtaining the original Devil Races' most complete inheritance. With her divine seal, she could even suppress experts like Qi Yang. In her peak condition, someone like Qi Yang would not even be able to flee from her. This time, it was only because she had used up a great deal of her energy on other devil experts and had been attacked by other races, resulting in her being at a disadvantage. Even surrounded by the devil race, she hadn't been in any real danger. It was only when the people of the Nine Underworld Hall, Bloodkill Hall, and Sacred Pill Hall came that the pressure increased. Fortunately, Zaya Chan and Guo Ran directly rushed over. Otherwise, she would have been in danger. Long Chen also told her about his journey in the immortal world. As soon as he mentioned that he had seen Yu Qingxuan, Yu Ziyogian sat up in delight. Back in the Martial Heaven Continent's final battle, Yu Qingxuan had sacrificed herself to take the blade that would have killed Long Chen. She then died right in front of him. Yu Ziyokian and the others were all heartbroken when they saw that. It was only later that they knew Yu Qingxuan had actually sacrificed so much for Long Chen. She had gone through reincarnation after reincarnation for him. Such deep feelings made them feel great admiration for her. Thus, Yu Ziyokian was especially delighted when she heard of Yu Qingxuan. Yu Ziyokian immediately said, Long Chen, this time, you have to treat Big Sister Qingxuan properly. Don't let her suffer any pain again. Don't worry. I won't. Long Chen nodded. In this lifetime, he would treat her as well as he could. Speaking of which, is that Bai Shishi your new lover in the immortal world? Asked Yu Ziyokian with a smile. Long Chen instantly blushed and nodded awkwardly. She should count as one. Yu Ziyokian laughed. Don't worry, I'm just asking a few questions. I'm not Wan Er. I won't pinch you. Hearing this, Long Chen was further embarrassed, but there was nothing he could do. In truth, he had intentionally maintained a distance from Bai Shishi. But later, they still ended up together. Love was truly something unrivaled. No matter how high your cultivation base or talent, there was no beating it. Just by Shishi alone? Asked Yu Ziyokin. Just one, I promise, said Long Chen solemnly. Hee hee, what are you so nervous about? Someone like you who is wild, outstanding, and dangerous is especially attractive to women. To only gain one new lover after all this time, you must have held back as much as you could, said Yu Ziyokian. Long Chen bitterly smiled. This praise makes me feel ashamed. Doesn't a real man try to be faithful to just one spouse in their life? Sometimes I even look down on myself for falling in love with more than one person. To marry a single one of you is a fortune for multiple lifetimes. So, to love so many of you, I feel like I'm sinning. I really do feel guilty toward all of you. Fool, what guilt? Do you know when I fell in love with you? Asked Yu Ziobian softly, caressing his cheek. If I say that I don't, will I be beaten? 
asked Long Chen awkwardly because he really didn't know. Yu Ziaokian glared at him. When have I ever beaten you? Back in the Jilai secret realm, you refused to leave despite staring death in the face, placing your body between death and me. It was then that I knew that my fate was set. You used your life to protect me. That is fatal to any woman, and there's no cure. Just how many women can resist someone mysterious, wild, domineering, and also willing to sacrifice his life to protect them? The only thing I find strange is that you only ended up with one. Based on my expectations, you should have gained just as many women as on the martial heaven continent, said Yu Ziaokian while covering a smile. The more Long Chen heard, the guiltier he felt. He even had the urge to cry. His women truly treated him well, so well that not even ten thousand deaths would be enough to repay them. The two of them talked a bit more before leaving the rear room and joining the others. As for Mo Nian, he was currently gesturing enthusiastically to Zaya Chen and Gyu Ran in another room, sketching out a diagram. Trust me, this is definitely some big business to gain. Furthermore, this treasure definitely has a destiny with us. Our union is so sharp that we can cut metal. We can definitely do this. If we do, we'll have a lifetime of pleasures awaiting us. Seeing Mo Nian solemnly acting as if he was conning them, Yu Ziaokian couldn't help laughing. This fellow's combat power was truly terrifying. He was actually able to fight on par with the sacred pill hall's heir, and yet he acted like a swindler on the streets without the slightest air of an expert. Let's ignore whether or not we can have a lifetime of pleasure. First, I want to know if you can teach me how to be a poser like you, exclaimed Yuo Ran. He was completely won over by how flashy Mo Nian had been this time, and he was incredibly envious. Oh, can you come up with some lines for me, too? Let alone some tomb, I'll go through mountains of blades and pools of boiling oil for you. No problem. Between brothers, it's nothing. Mo Nian patted his chest. Only then did he take note that Long Chen and Yu Ziaokin had arrived. Mo Naim then pointed at the diagram. You came at the right time. We are studying the plan. This tomb is not human-made. It's a heavenly tomb. What is a heavenly tomb? asked Gyuga Ran. Unexpectedly, it was Yu Ziaokin who said, A heavenly tomb refers to when the heavenly Daos are unwilling to allow the corpses of peerless experts to lie in the wilderness. The earth splits open, the heavens collapse, and a special world is formed for them to rest in. However, heavenly tombs are very dangerous and will very likely produce evil corpses. Those so-called evil corpses are experts whose soul essence refuses to dissipate and their physical bodies refuse to die. Once they are awoken, they usually cause a calamity in the world of the living. Think this through. No need to worry. I've checked over the heavenly tomb. It sits in the north, facing the south. Contrary to most Yin tombs, it is actually a Yang tomb and is overflowing with Yang Kai. There's not much chance that evil corpses will appear. Furthermore, there are nine dragon veins around it, forming the nine dragon spirit containment manifestation. The heavenly Daos wish for those life forms to rest in peace. We're only plundering the wealth, not the corpses. As long as we don't touch the bodies, everything will be safe, said Mo Nian confidently. Hearing that, Yu Ziaokian nodded. It seemed that she agreed with Mo Nian's opinion. With that, this plan was finalized. Stop the flying boat for an inspection. Just as their flying boat was about to reach Silver Moon City, Giant siege crossbows appeared and pointed at Gua Ran's flying boat. Chapter 3808 Junior City Lord, when did the exterior of Silver Moon City require an inspection to pass through? Long Chen frowned. Eighteen giant siege crossbows were pointed at their flying boat. At the same time, countless runes on the city gates lit up. Their grand formation was activated. 
It's the sacred pill hall's people, said Gua Ran darkly. The sacred pill hall is control of Silver Moon City. To dare to do inspections in front of Silver Moon City, I didn't expect this, said Monayan with surprise. It had to be known that Silver Moon City was a human settlement. Although they did not forbid other races from entering within their jurisdiction, no one dared to cause trouble, or it would be viewed as trampling over Silver Moon City's dignity. To set up inspections right in front of the city, that was either not placing Silver Moon City in their eyes, or was done with the approval of Silver Moon City. However, based on the fact that some of these people were wearing robes of Silver Moon City, it could be seen that it was the latter. Whoever is inside the flying boat, come down and submit to inspection, or bear the consequences, shouted a divine venerate sternly. Bear the consequences? I think I'll do that. How can I help you? Long Chen snorted and walked out. When Long Chen, Mo Nian, and the others came out, that divine venerate's expression completely changed. He immediately gestured to lock down the formation. If I Long Chen wish to enter the city, do you think that trash like you can block me? Long Chen looked at the group of dozens of divine venerates and an army of immortal king disciples. He sneered. Long Chen, the sacred pill hall, blood kill hall, nine underworld hall, and devil race all have an arrest warrant for you. Silver Moon City does not welcome you. Scram. Just then, a supreme immortal king walked out of the crowd, and the mark of Silver Moon City blazed on his chest brightly. He was handsome, but so arrogant it was like he looked down on everyone else. Silver Moon City is a human settlement. When did it become other people's dog? Is the sacred pill hall your daddy? Why are you so obedient? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. How brazen! Do you know who I am? Shouted the man with the silver moon robes. You can be whoever you want to be. I'm going into the city, and I don't feel like talking to you. If you don't want to die, get out of the way. I know you've alerted the others, and they are coming quickly. But if you are thinking of blocking my way first, you won't prevail, and second, you'll pay a price that will be difficult to bear, said Long Chen coldly. With just this brief conversation, Long Chen knew that these fellows before him were in collusion with Silver Moon City to stall him outside the city. However, they did not have the power to mobilize the entire city's forces against him. All they wanted was to stall him until the real experts came. Then they could directly kill him outside the city without affecting the dignity of Silver Moon City. Arrogant brat, I see that you're courting death. I am the city lord's thirteenth son. Today, if you don't kneel and kowtow, don't even think about leaving alive. That man shouted furiously and pointed his sword at Long Chen. Boss, don't kill a chicken with a divine blade. I, Gyu Ran, am willing to lower myself to deal with him. Gyu Ran immediately stepped forward. This fellow with the silver moon robes might be a supreme heavenly genius but his aura wasn't powerful. In fact, it was a bit flimsy. He was clearly someone who had been born with decent talent, but he never worked to excavate his full potential. Hence, he hadn't experienced many life and death battles. Such a figure was someone that even Gyuo Ran could slay with a single blow. Courting death, seeing Long Chen ignore him and a fellow with an even weaker aura than him jump out, that man was infuriated. He thought that he was being insulted intentionally, so he directly attacked. However, before he could even get to them, an old fellow from the sacred pill hall grabbed him. That was someone who had personally witnessed Long Chen and the others fighting. He was profoundly aware that every single one of the five people before him was a peak expert. This junior city lord was actually trying to throw himself into death's embrace. If he succeeded, no one would be able to save him. Are you idiots? What are you stopping me for? You cowards, 
You don't dare to do anything yourself, so let me go. I'll kill them all. The junior city lord was enraged at being stopped. He thought that these people's heads were broken. Everyone, this is Silver Moon City, and this is the city lord's son. The city lord is in seclusion, so the junior city lord has the authority to refuse entry to others. Since he does not permit you inside, please leave. Otherwise, the killing formation will be activated, and not a single one of you will be able to leave, said an elder from Silver Moon City. Clearly, they weren't thinking of attacking Long Chen, nor did they want to use Silver Moon City's killing formation. All they wanted was to prevent him from entering the city. If you don't want me to go in, fine. Tell my brothers inside the city to leave with the others, said Long Chen lightly. You're giving me orders. Who do you think you are? Scram or die, roared another elder of Silver Moon City impatiently. As a result, an arrow pierced his head, and he just watched as it struck him. It was as if he didn't sense the danger descending. Shockingly, the one to attack was Guo Ran. His arrow was silent and came without any warning. That person didn't even know who the attacker was as he died. We really gave you too much face. Since you want to die, there's no need to stand on courtesy. Long Chen snorted and gestured to attack. As soon as he gestured, Guo Ran charged out with his devil dragon battle armor, and his sabers swept through the air, enveloping over ten divine venerates. They were all blown back. You dare to attack. Activate the grand formation and kill. Bow. That junior, city lord, wasn't even done giving orders before he was slapped in the face by Long Chen. Long Chen had done his best to hold back, but he still almost killed this junior city lord with this slap. Long Chen hadn't expected there to be such a weak supreme expert in this world. The latter had no speed or power. Even worse, he didn't have any combat experience. He didn't even summon any instinctive energy to protect himself as Long Chen's slap struck him. He collapsed on the ground like porcelain. Although he didn't explode, cracks covered his body as if he was going to shatter apart at any moment. At this moment, Xia Chen and Yu Xiaopian also attacked. Those experts had no ability to resist. They were almost instantly wiped out. Whether it was the Sacred Pill Hall's experts or Silver Moon City's experts, they were wiped out of existence. As for Mo Nian, he clasped his hands behind his back. He didn't even have a desire to fight. Just then, all of Silver Moon City rumbled, and endless divine might caused the world to change color. Millions of runic arrows then condensed on top of the city walls, pointing at Long Chen and the others. Open the city gates, or your junior city lord will die without a corpse. In the face of this grand killing formation, Long Chen simply grabbed the junior city lord and walked to the gates. Chapter 3000 Eight hundred nine secure in one's backing Long Chen grabbed the junior city lord and dragged him to the city gates. He completely ignored the formation that had condensed millions of arrows on the walls, knowing that the people within the city would not dare to attack him. He estimated that this matter was caused by the sacred pill hall using this foolish fellow. They borrowed his authority in an attempt to stop Long Chen. It was because this junior city lord was clearly an idiot. It was easy to manipulate him. Just as Long Chen anticipated, Silver Moon City's experts cowered behind their formation, not daring to attack. They were afraid of him using the junior city lord as a shield. The next moment, the immense divine light on the city walls dissipated, and the closed gates were revealed. Long Chen walked in just like that, dragging the junior city lord. He held him by the neck as he walked in and was instantly surrounded by countless experts wearing Silver Moon City's robes. Release me now. If you dare to treat me like this, I'll make you die a miserable death, shouted the junior city lord furiously. Regretfully, 
with his neck being held he wasn't able to get much air so what came out was a sharp and thin voice like a eunuch cursing in the streets it lacked any dignity at all it was even comical Xia chen long chen turned the junior city lord's face to Xia chen and Xia chen didn't hesitate he directly slapped him a dozen times after these slaps his wounds that had just started to recover split open again his face swelled badly long chen had Xia chen slap him because Xia chen's physical strength was low someone else might accidentally kill him with a slap keep talking like that and i'll keep slapping Xia chen took out a handkerchief and wiped the blood off of his hands if you have guts then just try to kill me if you kill me don't even think about leaving this city alive shouted the junior city lord he was actually quite tough even daring to threaten them at this time Xia chen once more slapped him in the face repeatedly even with his good temper he was getting angry he had the urge to kill this idiot with his slaps this fellow thought that his status as the junior city lord would make others not dare to touch him he had no idea he was already in the hands of the death god release the city lord's son or you'll die a miserable death when long chen and the others walked in the formation closed behind them they were instantly trapped in a cage do you not have other phrases i've gotten tired of hearing the same old thing over and over again if i were to die why would i care about how miserable it is however i guarantee that if you tried your entire silver moon city would accompany me in death said long chen his voice spread far and wide shaking heaven and earth it contained his domineeringness and confidence even though they didn't know long chen they didn't dare to question his words all the experts within silver moon city were startled frightened by long chen's might they didn't know what to do who do you think you are in front of me yin chek sheng you are nothing more than a coward who can only run just then a shout came from inside the city yin chang sheng came flying out with a large group of the sacred pill halls experts yin chang sheng had clearly just received word and gone through multiple transportations to arrive here there was still some spatial energy lingering around him unfortunately he was too late long chen was already in the city wow the rich moneybags who gives away money is here last time you already gave me this elegant belt what are you going to give me this time mo nian laughed sinisterly he eyed yin chang shen up and down yin chang shen was enraged when he saw mo nian his belt which was on the level of a world domain divine item had been taken by mo nian that was a huge humiliation for him at this moment flames almost burst out of his eyes and he pointed his spear right at mo nian his aura growing wildly long chen i didn't think that you'd be hiding here we finally meet again let me see where you will run this time a long-haired woman in skin-tight clothes and with a sword on her back descended from the sky it was the nine underworld hall's peak expert the nine underworld luacha she had also come when she appeared a chilly killing intent instantly caused countless people to have goosebumps their souls also felt a sharp pain this was the opposite of an assassin's usual concealed aura the nine underworld luacha was like a god of slaughter delighting in taking other people's lives in the most violent way there was a large shadowy figure behind her that swayed with the wind it was like the banner of a devil yet also like the scythe of the death god dancing after advancing to the immortal king realm the nine underworld luacha's aura had completely changed it was even more sinister and violent an aura that seemed to live for slaughter when long chen saw her his heart quivered after passing this tribulation the nine underworld luacha had completely transformed her power had increased by an unknown amount fortunately long chen had the dragon expert's assistance in his tribulation 
otherwise his power would have been thrown behind hers by a great deal the nine underworld hall's disciples all gathered behind her when she arrived what are you talking about is your memory so bad do you not remember how i beat you until you knelt and begged for mercy in the dark light heaven sneered long chen although the nine underworld Yuacha was terrifying the current long chen had fully activated all seven stars and his meridians had made huge improvements he was no longer the old long chen he was unafraid of any one damn bastard that was just my carelessness a minor victory lets you be so pleased are you going to brag about it for the rest of your life if you're a man come out of the city with me and we'll decide who is stronger right now the nine underworld Luach's gaze instantly grew icy and dark. She hated Long Chen to the point of not wanting to wait another second. Decide who's stronger? Sorry, this chance can't be given to you. Otherwise, your fool master will once more start bragging. Suddenly, a soft voice rang out and the black-robed Jai Wuming appeared. Countless people cried out in shock. Even within this crowd of powerful experts, not one person noticed where he had come from. Long Chen, not bad. I feel like I have quite a few great enemies, but your enemies are all so powerful. Mo Nian chortled as he eyed the nine underworld Luacha and Jai Wuming. After that, his own battle intent ignited. This fellow was also a warlike man. This is nothing. You're only seeing the tip of the iceberg, said Long Chen, also growing excited as he saw his enemies appearing one by one. Release me, or you'll regret coming to this world. Suddenly, the junior city lord in Long Chen's hand woke up. He had been knocked unconscious by Zaya Chen's slaps and now began to roar again. Zaya Chen looked at him. This idiot was truly a pain in the neck. Xia Chen then raised his hand to slap him again when Long Chen suddenly released him. But then, the Ming Ong saber appeared in his hand. Boom! All of Silver Moon City quivered. His saber slashed down, knocking back a figure. This figure was a middle-aged man looking to be in his forties. As soon as he appeared, the junior city lord cried out excitedly, Now you're definitely dead! Dad, quickly kill them. Chapter 3810 Have another countless people kowtowed toward this middle-aged man when he appeared. City Lord. Navalun, come this middle-aged man looked at Long Chen frostily. There was the slightest hint of trepidation in his eyes. Just now, he had attacked silently without any warning, so he hadn't expected this black-robed man to be able to block him. As the Lord of Silver Moon City, his power naturally had to be high enough to intimidate other experts who might come. Otherwise, there was no way for him to occupy any territory within the three thousand worlds. The city lord's aura was hidden, and people couldn't even sense his existence. However, when he appeared, everyone's heart shook. This person seemed to have reached the point of merging into heaven and earth. He represented this city and this world. It was like he was the master of everyone's life here. This was an absolutely terrifying existence, an almighty expert that people couldn't fathom. It was like a thought from him could wipe all of them out, and they wouldn't even be able to resist. Father, kill them, shouted the junior city lord impatiently when he saw his father just sizing up Long Chen and the others. Long Chen raised his hand, once more sending the junior city lord's face to Xia Chen. Xia Chen then slapped him sixteen times, causing the latter's face to bleed again. Everyone was shocked. To slap the city lord's son right in front of him, that was no different than slapping his face. As expected, the city lord's expression sank and fury rose out of him. Are you going to force this lord to kill you? I don't believe you dare to fight here unless you no longer care about this city. Furthermore, even if you did, even if I couldn't beat you, I can easily retreat. If I want to leave, no one here can stop me. 
However, after the battle, there would no longer be a Silver Moon City, and as the city lord, you would become a laughingstock. Of course, you can treat this as me just trying to scare you. You can entirely try to test me and see if I'm just saying big words, said Long Chen lightly. Long Chen was fully confident now. His seven stars were activated, and his meridians had been rebuilt. As a result, his former cautiousness was thrown away. His mind felt clearer, and his confidence was steadier than ever. He was even more domineering than before. This was confidence in one's own power. It could be said that the dragon expert's arrangements had benefited him immensely. Thus, even in front of a terrifying existence that he had never encountered before, Long Chen was still full of confidence, as if everything was under his control. The city lord suddenly smiled. Not bad. Youngsters should have this courage and vision. This matter is nothing more than a misunderstanding. My son was foolish and he was used by others. I hope you can give me face and let him off. I can let bygones be bygones. These words shocked everyone here. Was he looking for peace? When did he become so soft? However, some people were sneering sinisterly inside. This was clearly a lie. If Long Chen handed over the junior city lord, the city lord would no longer have any misgivings. He wouldn't instantly kill them. The city lord was treating them too lightly. This could only trick someone with small guts, so Jai Wuming smiled mockingly. As expected, a foolish son was raised by a foolish father. Have Long Chen hand over his hostage? That was a huge joke. It seemed that his wisdom had not grown even after all his years of life. Unacceptable. Even before Long Chen responded, the junior city lord started roaring again. I want to kill them. They hit me. I'll kill their whole family, their entire bloodline. This roar caused countless people to shake their heads. This fellow's foolishness was unparalleled. Even at this time, he was still trying to threaten others, claiming that he would kill their entire family and bloodline. Was that no different than courting death? Shut up. The city lord's expression sank and he shouted at his foolish son furiously. There was no way for him to transmit messages to his son spiritually. His son's soul was entirely under Long Chen's purview. Also, the city lord had already given him a meaningful glance, but this idiot hadn't understood. No, I want them dead. Long Chen then slapped him. Even though Long Chen wasn't using any power, his face still caved in. He instantly fainted. So loud. Long Chen frowned. After this slap, things quietened down. But the city lord's expression had become even uglier. What do you want? asked the city lord darkly. I, Long Chen, never threaten others. Long Chen raised the unconscious man in his hand. His body quivered and he instantly woke up. What does that mean? The city lord's expression suddenly changed. Ah, uh, the junior city lord screamed like a pig being slaughtered. It seemed he was suffering unbearable pain. You don't understand? Your son wants to kill me. He wants to kill my whole family and my whole bloodline. Do you think I can let him live? Asked Long Chen coldly. You dare? Take advantage of your youth to have another kid. Oh. The next moment, Long Chen's hand quivered and the junior city lord exploded, his soul extinguished. He was killed by Long Chen just like that. Die! The city lord's palm crashed down on Long Chen. At the same time, countless runes lit up on the ground. The entire world was covered by some mysterious energy. Split the heavens one. When Long Chen slashed the Ming Hong saber, Violet Kai swirled and his saber cry shook the heavens. The Violet Kai in his meridians was crazily compressed, causing explosive power to gush out. Woo! All of Silver Moon City shook. Some buildings became covered in fine cracks from the intense shaking. 
After their collision, Long Chen was forced back a few steps, while the city lord was also knocked back. They were evenly matched. However, their terrifying power shook countless people. Within the crowd, Jai Wuming narrowed his eyes. Master really was right. This Long Chen is definitely a terrifying existence. I cannot be the slightest bit careless. Those as powerful as Jai Wuming, the nine underworld Yuacha, Yin Cheng Sheng, and Mo Nian could instantly see that this was not a full power attack. It was but a quick attack. The city lord had given no chance for Long Chen to accumulate power. Hence, he had used his full speed to attack and kill Long Chen before he could summon his power. For an ordinary expert, such an attack would definitely lead to death. The city lord was relying entirely on his realm advantage to crush Long Chen. However, what he didn't know was that Long Chen's meridians had been strengthened many times over. He was able to fully unleash his power in one go. For most people, unleashing their power was like boiling cold water. They needed a warm-up before they reached their full power. However, Long Chen was able to boil the water in an instant. That kind of explosive might shock to everyone. Long Chen rested the Minghong saber on his shoulder. Appearing incredibly domineering, he coldly said, Do you want my life or do you want your city? Chapter 3811 You bring out the people. I'll put out the work the city lord was enraged but was shocked inside. He had been completely confident in killing Long Chen with this attack, but Long Chen had managed to instantly unleash such immense power. It made no sense. He hadn't used his full power yet, but he also knew that Long Chen hadn't done that either. Perhaps if they were to fight, he was assured of being able to kill Long Chen in a few moves. But just as Long Chen said, if he were to unleash his full power, Silver Moon City would be wiped out of existence in just those few moves. He couldn't beat Long Chen without using his full power, but if he did use his full power, his city would be destroyed. Killing Long Chen came at too high of a price, but letting him off was intolerable. As a result, the city lord quivered with rage, not knowing what to do. Hey, yeah, I say, what's the big deal? You have so many sons. You're not going to miss one or two. Furthermore, this son of yours was so bad. Now that he's dead, you're going to save a great deal of stress and time. You can use that time to have another one. How about this? I will be the mediator. If you feel like you've suffered an undue loss here, how about I help you make up for it? Mo Nian suddenly stepped forward at this time to give his advice over this matter. What do you mean? demanded the city lord. I mean, if you feel like having children is taxing, just lend me your lady. I guarantee that within three years you'll have one big fellow and one little fellow. Then wouldn't this matter be settled peacefully? If you're lucky, you can even have one big fellow and two little fellows, maybe even three little fellows. Then you'll have profited immensely. You bring out the people, I'll put out the work. Aya, what the fuck? Mo Nian wasn't even done talking when the city lord furiously unleashed a punch at him. The boots on his feet lit up. The next moment, space exploded, and the city lord's furious attack missed. Mo Nian had escaped from his spiritual lock. Mo Nian then stood behind Long Chen, furiously cursing, We're just talking. What are you hitting people for? After offering my help, why did I get such treatment? Everyone was shocked. This fellow was even more infuriating than Long Chen. Anyone who was a man probably wouldn't be able to endure what he said. His movement art was also completely bizarre. Even at such a close distance, under the city lord's lock, Mo Nian had easily avoided his attack. That was practically impossible. The city lord was also shocked. Fortunately, there hadn't been a full power attack, as he had controlled his power in order to not damage Silver Moon City. It was thanks to this that he had managed to pull back his fist before it landed. Otherwise, 
the consequences would be unbearable. The city lord now realized that Mo Nyan had intentionally antagonized him, showing him that he possessed power that was not inferior to Long Chen's. If they were to fight, there was no way Silver Moon City would be unscathed. They even had the ability to retreat safely. When Long Chen said that if he wanted to leave, no one could stop him, the city lord hadn't taken him seriously. But after this one dodge from Mo Nyan, he understood that it wasn't a bluff. The city lord clenched his teeth, not knowing what to do. If they were not within Silver Moon City, he'd definitely kill this group of hateful fellows. The other experts inside the city quivered in fear, not daring to make a sound. In all their years following the city lord, they had never seen him this angry. The spectators were all dumbfounded. They hadn't expected things to progress to this point. Long Chen really was wild. He killed the city lord's son right in front of him and even directly challenged him, with the city lord not daring to receive this challenge. Long Chen, do you think it's amazing to hide like a tortoise here? If you have guts, come out of the city and have a decisive fight with me, shouted the nine underworld Yuacha. Even after seeing Long Chen display such power, she was fearless. She clearly had absolute confidence in her own power. A brain is a good thing. I hope you can get one. If you want to fight, then go ahead and attack me. Long Chen looked at the nine underworld Yuacha. This idiot's power continued to grow, but her brain just stalled. Go out of the city at this time. Did she get water in her head? As long as he left the city, the city lord would immediately explode. He wasn't so foolish as to do that. Just like that, Long Chen swaggered into the city. The disturbance here had long since drawn out everyone within the city. Once he swaggered in, the people made a path for him. Almost all the humans looked at Long Chen respectfully. Count it as your victory but I will remember this. The city lord looked at Long Chen coldly. In the end, he chose to just watch. A single son was not enough for him to lose his rationality and destroy everything that he had built. Long Chen seemed to have long since expected this result and didn't even look back. He directly walked into the city. As for the nine underworld Liuacha, Yin Changsheng, Jai Wuming, and the others, Seeing that he refused to leave the city, they could do nothing to him. They didn't dare to attack. If they damaged the city, the city lord would go crazy on them. They didn't want to face such a terrifying expert. If they wanted to kill Long Chen, they would have to find another opportunity. Although they were a bit unwilling, they were helpless. Yin Changsheng cursed over not having arrived just a moment earlier. If that had happened, he could have stopped Long Chen outside the city. Thus, once he was in, the Dragonblood warriors came rushing over with weapons in hand. Clearly, they had been in seclusion and had just received the word, resulting in them being slower and only getting here once things were already over. During this time, more Dragonblood warriors had gathered in Silver Moon City. There were 317 of them. When those dragonblood warriors saw Long Chen, they all wept tears of joy. Long Chen then embraced each of those dragonblood warriors tightly before leading them to the transportation formation. We're going to clear Sky City, but this transportation formation can't bring us there directly. If you want to kill me, don't miss this chance, announced Long Chen while looking at Yin Chengsheng, the nine underworld Yuacha, Jai Wuming, and the others. Long Chen knew that they would definitely chase him. Thus, he directly told them where he wanted to go. If they wanted to die, they could come. At this moment, Long Chen had the confidence to face any expert. Moreover, he wanted his name to resound within Silver Moon City for a long time. So, if any Dragonblood warriors arrived later, they would know where he went. Long Chen, do you only know how to run? Can you not have an honorable fight? Mocked the Nine Underworld Liuacha. 
Long Chen couldn't even bother to respond to her, as expected of the disciple raised by that master. If the master's head wasn't good, then the disciple was the same. Their words were practically laughable. She actually used such a childish provocation. Long Chen and the others stepped onto the transportation formation. Mo Nian only eyed the enraged Yin Chengsheng and chortled. Brother, my apologies. I am not able to accept your filial respect this time. Don't worry. With your talent and diligence, another chance will come. Just then, Xia Chen activated the transportation formation. Long Chen and the others vanished. But just as they vanished, the city lord appeared on top of the transportation formation, making everyone jump. His figure also began to grow dim. He actually borrowed this transportation power to chase them. Suddenly, his expression changed. The countless rooms on top of the formation lit up. In front of everyone's shocked gaze, this entire high-level transportation formation exploded. Idiot. From within the explosion, Xia Chen's mocking voice rang out. Just wait. After failing to chase, and even being schemed against, costing him his transportation formation, the city lord roared furiously. But it was of no use. Chapter 3812 Heavenly Boundary Line What an Idiot I knew that he wouldn't be able to hold himself back. The void rumbled. In the midst of the transportation, Xia Chen activated a second transportation, and they just managed to see the city's formation exploding. Xia Chen then laughed. For such a foolish person to be able to cultivate to that realm, the heavens really are blind. Mo Nian was speechless. This fellow wasn't much smarter than his fool of a son. But he really is powerful. What realm has he reached? Wondered Xia Chen. The pressure that the city lord had given off was quite terrifying. Is he a legendary existence that transcends a divine venerate? Guessed a dragonblood warrior. Long Chen shook his head. No, he should be a divine venerate. His fluctuations have not changed from that realm, but they are simply a hundred times stronger. Mo Nian nodded. That's true. Although I look down on him, if he were to go all out, we wouldn't be able to beat him. We'd have to flee. Fortunately, my fleeing abilities are unparalleled. I'm not afraid of anyone, no matter how powerful they are. In order to be safe, they underwent multiple transportations to quickly create distance from Silver Moon City's domain. They then found a secluded place to rest for a bit. Just now, in order to block the city lord's attack, Long Chen had directly used up 30% of his spiritual yuan. The city lord truly was a terrifying existence. After resting a bit, they found another city and started moving to Clear Sky City. Although the city lord was powerful with so many of them together, they weren't worried. They might not be a match for him fighting alone, but with Mo Nine and Yu Ziokian present, if the three of them joined forces, they would be able to stall him for some time. In that case, everyone would have time to get away. Furthermore, the city lord might not dare to actually chase. If he were to press Long Chen, Long Chen might just sneak back into Silver Moon City and destroy his title of city lord. This was the so-called principle of people with nothing to lose not being afraid of those with something to lose. A day later, they finally arrived in Clear Sky City. Seeing over a thousand dragonblood warriors, all of them wept and cried out excitedly like a group of children. That very day, Mo Nian held another feast to celebrate their reunion. Meeting again in the immortal world was truly difficult. Curious. Why aren't Boss Bu Yang, Song Minjuan, Lai Kai, and Yu Zifen here? After celebrating, Jiang Lei couldn't help asking this question. I've asked around. The 3,000 worlds are split into two regions. There is a so-called heavenly boundary line separating the east and west. If you wish to cross, you must wait until the primal chaos Kai eruption. Only then will the heavenly boundary line vanish. At that time, 
the three thousand worlds will become one. Also, the heavenly boundary line is like a barometer. Everyone is watching it. In truth, there are many monsters lying in the dark waiting for it to vanish and for the primal chaos kite to erupt. Those brothers are either not in the same region as us or are also waiting to accumulate power for the primal chaos kai eruption, explained Mo Nyan. This explanation let everyone relax. They were also full of anticipation for the future. They had gathered over a thousand dragon blood warriors here, and they were all supreme heavenly geniuses now. However, only half had world domain divine items that matched them. One reason was because there simply weren't that many world domain divine items, while another reason was that a weapon needed to match the user. To have a sword user swing around a hammer was simply not realistic. Although Zaya Chen and Guo Ran's current circumstances did allow them to create world domain divine items, they were only able to create the lowest level world domain divine items. Their power couldn't compare to the world domain divine items that they had found. Creating world domain divine items required an extremely high level comprehension of the heavenly Daos. In comparison, the forging skill was secondary. This lack of comprehension was Guo Ran's weak point, and he was not capable of making any breakthroughs at the moment. If it weren't for his battle armor being a set with his saber, his saber wouldn't be able to match the world domain divine items of other experts. Other than this, the other reason that Guo Ran and Zia Chen couldn't quickly make some world domain divine items for everyone was because they didn't have the time. Thus, for now, the Dragonblood Legion could only be temporarily left half unequipped. Within Clear Sky City, they were 100% safe. Long Chen then ordered the Dragonblood Warriors to keep training where they were. They had to start practicing their formations again. At this moment, the Dragonblood Legion would be reformed. As for Long Chen, Mo Nian, Yu Ziaokian, Guo Ran, and Zia Chen, they stealthily left Clear Sky City and went westwards. Three days later, they arrived in a desolate wilderness. There were giant ragged mountains, but not a single blade of grass grew on them. After that, an air of desolation blew by. With the slightest breeze, dust and sand blew into the air. The whistling wind was like a mad melody played by the world. Countless heroes, as well as immense history, are buried within the three thousand worlds. Who knows how many truths are buried here? This world is a mix of sewage. We cannot see the origin of this world and the life forms that inhabit it. Who muddied this world? What was their goal? Dirt slipped through Long Chen's fingers. He couldn't help being emotional when he sensed the antiquity of this yellow soil. Only after ascending did Long Chen find that the Martial Heaven continent was just the starting point of some conspiracy. As his cultivation base grew, he saw more and more things. He sensed that he was getting ever closer to the truth. But the closer he got, the less he could see. The three thousand worlds had an entire era buried within it. However, even here they couldn't see anything clearly. It was like invisible hands had separated them from the truth. It was like there was only a single piece of paper between them and the truth. However, there was no way for them to pierce this paper. Despite clearly sensing the truth right there, despite smelling its scent, they couldn't see it. As expected of a dean, even your words are moving. However, don't worry. The truth is right beneath our feet. I believe that as long as we start digging, we'll find it. The truth can't run away. Mo Nyan took out his shovel with a mischievous laugh. He started digging and was very careful. He dug multiple holes and didn't dig too deeply at once. Suddenly, some marks lit up on his shovel. He was actually measuring something. Long Chen and the others didn't comprehend this. They silently watched as Mo Nyan dug more and more holes. After over ten holes, he finally stopped. 
he took out a piece of paper and quickly drew a diagram it was a lake with all kinds of lines within it at the center was a single straight line that cut the lake in half it's a bit troublesome after eyeing the diagram for a long time monai inside solemnly what is it asked every one hastily this heavenly tomb is perfectly cut by the heavenly boundary line which means the core is right on the heavenly boundary line however we cannot touch the heavenly boundary line it is said to be a rope that came from a mysterious world it will only vanish when the time comes but before the time comes touching it is equivalent to touching the laws of an entire world even someone on the level of silver moon city's lord would definitely die said mo nine so the core must be of utmost importance asked long chen mo nine nodded long chen smiled just because silver moon city's lord wouldn't dare to touch it doesn't mean that us brothers wouldn't dare to let's go who cares about some heavenly tomb or heavenly boundary line we can decide after we take a look first ha! i knew that i couldn't scare you off let's go even if it's a pool of dragons or a den of tigers we have to take a look Monaya laughed and led them directly into the depths of this desolate land. Chapter 3813 Bewilderment Barrier of the Heavenly Dows As they entered deeper, they saw desiccated bones that were badly eroded. A light touch would turn them into dust. And the further they went, the more bones they saw. The aura of death also grew heavier. Right now, this feeling of death penetrated deep into their souls. Those without strong enough wills would feel increasingly terrified. They might even start seeing nightmares. Fortunately, amongst all of them, even Guo Ran, with his weak will, didn't feel any fear. When it came to Guo Ran, whether or not his confidence was strong depended on who he was with. This is... Suddenly... They came to a startled stop. Mo Nyan had been leading them while putting some special markers wherever they passed. But an hour later, they actually found themselves at the first marker. What's going on? We were going in a straight line, exclaimed Guo Ran. Long Chen and the others grew serious. With their spiritual perception, they couldn't have been going the wrong way. But somehow, they had returned to the starting point with none of them sensing anything. This is most likely a heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier. The heavens do not want us to pass, so they created this barrier to keep us out, said Yu Ziokian. What is that? That is not within my knowledge. This time, even Mo Nian was startled. A heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier is a barrier the world sets up to protect something. We can consider it to be a kind of high-level illusion formation that blocks intruders. However, it is different from true illusory formations because there is a solid barrier. You can't see it with the naked eye. You also cannot touch it because once you enter it, space grows chaotic. No matter how great your sense of direction is, you will ultimately end up back where you started, said you, Ziochian. Long Chen looked at Yu Ziopian with a smile. Seeing his gaze, she blushed and asked, What? Did I say something wrong? Yu Ziopian actually thought that Long Chen was more familiar with the topic than her. But he shook his head. Her learning made him think of when he had first encountered her. Yu Ziopian was an erudite, and he was very impressed with her knowledge. Currently, Long Chen was the dean of the High Firmament Academy and had gone through the Academy's tomes. So, he could be considered a learned scholar. Although he wouldn't dare to call himself a master of all knowledge, he should be considered extremely knowledgeable. But compared to Yu Ziochian, he was still lacking. As expected, there really is a problem. Zia Chen took out over ten formation discs, and after studying them patiently, he shook his head. The heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier is unfathomable. I can only tell that about thirty miles ahead, there is some kind of change in the energy of heaven and earth. 
that should be the heavenly dow bewilderment barrier let's take a look they carefully walked forward once more but even once they reached where zaya chen indicated they couldn't sense anything odd they continued on carefully despite walking in a straight line it wasn't long before they returned to their starting point once more Yuo Ran had even intentionally dragged a stick behind him in a straight line. But while the line was straight, they ended up where they started. This is so strange. Yuo Ran was gobsmacked. But, otherwise, someone else would have long since plundered this heavenly tomb. Let's go. I think I've figured out the entrance, said Mo Nian. They continued the same way again. When they reached the spot that Zaya Chen indicated, the line that Yuo Ran had left behind was still there. Here, Mo Nian stopped. He took out a rock and flung it ahead. That rock was flying in a straight line when it suddenly took a strange turn and flew away. The most shocking thing was that while the rock followed the straight line on the ground at first, when the rock turned, the line on the ground didn't turn although the two were parallel. It made no sense. Long Chen then took out a spear and slowly probed the space ahead. After a few steps, everyone cried out in shock. The spear was starting to turn. The spear had only turned ever so slightly. Without focusing all their attention, they wouldn't have sensed it. But it truly was turning. The heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier is right here. Just like when you put a stick in water, Despite the stick being straight, it looks like it's displaced in the water. Our path looks straight, but we actually turned around here, said Long Chen. Boss is wise, praised Buo Ran. Is fawning the slightest bit useful? The main thing is that even if we know it's meaningless, said Long Chen irritably. What if we walk in the opposite direction of the turn? In a rare turn of events, Buoran actually proposed a very reasonable idea. However, Yu Ziochian shook his head. It's useless. The heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier is like flowing water. Look, do you see the spear tip starting to twist in the other direction? Then we can go in the other direction. For example, if the spear starts twisting to the left, we'll go right. Based on what direction the spear is twisting, We'll go in the opposite direction. If it goes up, we'll go. Guo Ran suddenly fell silent. If the spear twisted up, were they supposed to dive into the ground? Even he felt that this wasn't very possible. Mo Nian, any ideas? Asked Long Chen. Mo Nian's expression was serious. He seemed to be calculating something. After a long time, he shook his head. It seems that I overestimated myself. Just as Ziochian says, this heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier is like flowing water. There is no way to find the spatial nodes. The only way is to break through with brute force. But this heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier is in constant flux. If we attack, our attacks will all land in different places. There's no way to concentrate our power in one spot. Then there's no way to break through it. As an expert in grave robbing arts and formation arts, Mo Nian had immense confidence. Although he was as proficient as Zaya Chen in formations, he had the Limitless Palace's unique secret arts for breaking through the defenses of ancient tombs. However, a heavenly tomb was something that he had only heard of before. He never encountered one until recently. Now that he finally encountered one, he was given a harsh lesson. This heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier stumped him. Can you force out the barrier? Asked Long Chen suddenly, his gaze brightening. But, seeing that expression, Mao Nian grew excited. As long as you can force out the barrier, I feel like I can pierce through it, said Long Chen. Really? Mo Nian was delighted. Although he knew that Long Chen wasn't one to joke around, he couldn't help asking again to confirm it. Let's pry it. I'm not 100% confident, 
but there's no loss with just trying, said Long Chen. Mo Nian nodded and exchanged a look with Zaya Chen. The next moment, the two of them each took out a formation disc and smashed them into the space ahead. Both, both of their formation discs were embedded into the air just like that. Their runes flowed around. A barrier then appeared in front of them. It was a translucent barrier with wild currents of energy flowing inside of it. That was the Heavenly Tao Bewilderment Barrier. Suddenly, a black dagger appeared in Long Chen's hand. With a shout, he stabbed it into the barrier with all his power. Chapter 3814 Skeleton Boom Long Chen's black dagger stabbed into the barrier. As a result, the barrier was pierced through, and a giant hole appeared. Mo Nian and the others were delighted. They were just about to charge through when Long Chen held them back. Buzz! That giant hole instantly sealed. It appeared for no more than the blink of an eye. What? This is way too short. We won't be able to get through. Mo Nian's expression changed. What if the barrier devoured them right while they were in the middle of passing it? Then they would be doomed. Who knew what terrifying thing would happen to them then? How about this? I'll go in first. I have the original Devil Race's secret art, and I'll have enough time to get to the other side. Zaya Chen, give me a formation disc and prepare to do a spatial transportation. Once I'm on the other side, activate the formation disc to transport everyone over, said Yu Ziyokian. Are you sure? Long Chen wasn't too happy with that plan. If something happened, none of them could accept the consequences. Trust me. Yu Ziyokian smiled sweetly at Long Chen. She was full of confidence. Boop. Long Chen took a deep breath. He once more stabbed the dagger into the Heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier, and it was once more pierced through. This time, he used even more power than last time. Just as he thought that he could buy a bit more time for Yu Ziopian to pass through, it suddenly slammed shut just like last time. The path was still the same size as last time, and the time to cross was still just as short. Ziopian, Long Chen's expression changed. He wanted to tell Yu Ziopian to give up, but she was already moving. Her body shot through the path, surrounded by countless phantoms. When the channel slammed shut, Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. He was afraid of something happening to her. That had been far too little time. He wasn't even able to see if she had managed to get through in time. Big Sister Ziokian is fine, and the formation disc has been set. Everyone, prepare yourselves. I'm going to activate the transportation formation, said Zaya Chen with delight. Hearing that, they all sighed with relief. They really had been worried just now. Long Chen, you should save some energy. I feel like the reason you can create a path isn't because of your own power. It is some special power of that dagger. The size of the path has nothing to do with your own power, said Monayan. Long Chen nodded. He had everyone prepare, and once they were ready and transportation runes appeared around them, Long Chen once more stabbed the dagger forward. Boom! Just as Mo Nian said, this time he didn't use any power. After that, the heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier shook, and a hole appeared, the exact same size as before. Clearly, his ability to create a hole had nothing to do with himself. Long Chen's vision changed just as the channel appeared. He then arrived in a peaceful world, Yu Ziokian was waiting for them. After passing through the Heavenly Tao Bewilderment Barrier, Long Chen found that this place was completely different from the outside world's environment. There were skeletons everywhere, but they weren't eroded by time. There was no flying sand and dust. The entire world was so quiet that it was nerve-wracking. This world was a world of death. There was no sound. They looked around and only saw endless skeletons. The only things that they could hear were their own nervous heartbeats. 
no one spoke. This place was so silent that it was terrifying. They were afraid of breaking that silence. Cut. Suddenly, Guo Ran moved his foot, only to step on a bone. As a result, that bone shattered. That sound was exceptionally loud in this silent world. During normal times, it might be nothing. But here, it was like thunder, making everyone jump. Sorry, I. Guo Ran hastily apologized. Everyone, calm down. I often come to places like this. We're very safe, comforted Mo Nian. Long Chen then squatted down and picked up the bone that Yu Ran had stepped on. Looking at the marks on it, he said, This is the bone of a human expert. It seems to be an arm bone. And for it to be preserved even after so much time has passed, it might be a supreme bone. The aura hasn't fully vanished. Most likely, it was a divine venerate. A supreme divine venerate would definitely have limitless glory when they were alive. But after dying, they can't even keep their corpse intact. The cultivation path really is one of no return. Long Chen sighed inside. Supreme experts were born due to the flow of karmic luck in this world. They should not be taken to be ordinary simply due to there being plenty of supreme heavenly geniuses running around in the three thousand worlds now. This was due to the workings of the heavenly Taoists. Supreme heavenly geniuses sprouted in rapid succession one after another right now, but that was because they had been born at the right time. Without it being the right time, not a single one might be born in ages. Of all the divine venerates that Long Chen had encountered, almost none of them were supreme experts. Currently, the only ones he suspected of being supreme experts were Xia Yuhong, Dong Feng Zichu, and Wang Tebei. Other than them, perhaps Silver Moon City's lord was also a supreme expert. However, which one of them wasn't an absolute monster? Which of them wasn't an almighty expert that could look down on the rest of the world? Even so, such an expert had actually died here, their corpse rotting away. It made him feel sorrowful. Just where was the end of the cultivation path? Boss, this is a winged devil. Yuo Ran suddenly saw a giant skeleton in the distance. This skeleton was perfectly intact. It still gave off a terrifying remnant aura. This winged devil was three meters tall. It had a pair of bone wings on its back, and those bone wings still had intact runes. They hadn't been destroyed over time. That could only mean that this was a pair of supreme bones in the form of bone wings. This winged devil had also been a supreme expert. This skeleton was perfectly preserved. Its wings were spread, and it was kneeling on the ground. There was a sword stuck in its head, directly piercing it. This was clearly the killing blow. When Long Chen pulled the sword out of its skull, he saw that it was covered in rust. But, with a swing, that rust fell, revealing a bright sword. When this sword quivered, space boomed and threads of killing intent appeared. A treasure of a sword. Long Chen couldn't help praising this sword. It was a world domain divine item. Although its quality wasn't on par with the Ming Hong saber, what was rare was that it possessed its own overflowing killing intent. It had produced its own consciousness. Moreover, it had inherited the will of its master. This was a true divine weapon for slaughter. According to reason, without the nourishment of the soul of its master, this sword's will should have slowly faded until it vanished. However, this sword actually absorbed the skeleton's energy to prevent the decay of time, allowing it to be perfectly preserved. It was just like a warrior that had suffered through indignity and humiliation in order to fulfill their duty. Thus, Long Chen praised it as a good sword. The sword buzzed in his hands as if expressing something. Long Chen nodded in response. My dragon blood legion is full of hot blooded men who are unafraid of death. I'll definitely find you a suitable master. With that, Long Chen put away the sword. This was their first harvest in the heavenly tomb. 
as expected after investing so much effort there were great gains to be found someone's coming suddenly moaned nyan who was in the midst of looking around cried out chapter three thousand eight hundred fifteen heavenly i long chen jumped in shock how could that be other than them who could possibly pass through the heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier long chen and the others quickly grouped back together after a while they started hearing strange sounds in the distance as well however their divine sense was suppressed here they couldn't spread it far they also couldn't see whatever was making that sound did you see someone whispered long chen coming to mo nian's side no but i heard their footsteps it should be a human whispered mo nian how many people i only heard one let's take a look long chen refused to believe that someone else could enter the heavenly Tao bewilderment barrier like them they then carefully crept over to the sound as they got closer the sound grew clearer it was a human's footsteps however the footsteps were extremely slow they started and stopped repeatedly long chen and the others came to the side of a giant skeleton and stuck their heads over they finally saw what was making the sound it was an elder in ragged ropes his body had decayed and all that was left was his skeleton however his head was still intact and there were two withered eyes in the eye sockets he was walking with his head down his left hand was clenched in a fist while his right hand was holding a staff with countless ancient runes on it it emitted a terrifying aura so it might be a divine weapon the elder used this staff as a cane tottering onwards he kept pausing after a few steps and then continued his withered eyes were like holes every time he stopped he looked around seemingly searching for something a few garbled sounds came from his mouth as if he was calling out to someone yet also like he was sobbing is he a zombie whispered gua ran mal nyan shook his head his physical body already died but his soul essence refused to die with it as his will refuses to die that last breath of his refuses to dissipate as well this person has some kind of great attachment he refuses to part with he's not a zombie a zombie only contains resentment hatred and killing intent but this person doesn't have that i just wonder what kind of attachment allows him to continue pursuing it after having died so many years ago seeing that this elder lacked any killing intent or murderous aura they all relaxed and slowly got closer the elder didn't seem to notice them and was continuing to search for whatever he was searching for it was only once long chen and the others arrived in front of him that he seemed to sense something and raise his head to look at them however when they saw this elder's eyes they all cried out at the same time heavenly eye race the heavenly eye race was a race with absolutely terrifying pupil arts their eyes could control the ten thousand daos of heaven and earth and they possessed enough power to destroy the entire world they were very easy to recognize they looked like humans except their eyes contained a strange diagram of the heavenly downs by Zyle's three flower pupils were a kind of pupil art from the heavenly eye race this elder's eyes might already be withered but they could clearly see a plum blossom diagram within his eyes when they looked into those eyes they felt like they were spinning it was like the world was spinning around them they almost collapsed so they hastily distanced themselves and no longer looked into his eyes after looking at them the elder continued lowering his head and searching for something he continued to keep pausing using his staff as a cane and muttering everyone looked at each other their hearts pounding just what kind of secret was hidden within this heavenly tomb they saw the skeletons of supreme experts as soon as they walked in now they even saw a legendary existence it had to be known that the heavenly eye race was on par with the legendary gli race in terms of fame 
However, this expert of the heavenly eye race was already dead. Even so, no one knew what kind of attachment he had to still be searching for something. All of them were terrified. Just which era was this elder from? Even in death he refused to die. Just what level of existence was he when he was alive? Even such a terrifying figure ended up dying here. Just what was inside this heavenly tomb? This old fellow's staff is a treasure. Should we take it? Asked Guo Ran, eyeing that staff. It was carved with countless runes, many of which he didn't recognize. Hence, he couldn't help being moved. Don't bless being this senior. Long Chen shook his head. If it was another race, he wouldn't hesitate to take their treasure. But the heavenly eye race could be considered part of the human race. He wouldn't blaspheme a hero of the human race. He he, I was just joking, ah. Guo Ran was in the midst of laughing to cover up his embarrassment when the elder suddenly stopped and looked at Guo Ran, causing him to jump in terror. Everyone else also jumped and took out their weapons. At the slightest move, they would attack. A senior, I was just joking. Yuo Ran was terrified after being looked at by those withered eyes. He then hid behind Long Chen. Suddenly, the elder's eyes reacted. The diagram within them moved, and light seemed to come from them. After that, a trace of life seemed to return to his withered body. His gaze suddenly shifted to Long Chen. Can you bring me to my wife's side? The elder suddenly spoke, his voice hoarse. It contained endless sorrow and grief, as well as a begging tone. As long as this junior can do it, this junior will definitely help senior. For some reason, hearing this begging tone, Long Chen's heart ached. He agreed without hesitation. Long Chen had a feeling that this was a hero, a hero who had sacrificed everything for the human race. He was a high and noble existence. Such a hero was actually begging him. The feeling of seeing such a hero reach the end of his life made Long Chen feel terrible. Does Senior know where his wife is? asked Long Chen. She is here, but I can't find her. She is my most beloved person. My heavenly eye energy was preserved just for her. I want to find her corpse and use my final trace of heavenly eye energy to break the restrictions of the heavenly Daos and reincarnate with her, said the elder. Long Chen and the others were shocked. A heavenly eye race's pupil arts were actually capable of something so heaven-defying. Reincarnation was a legend that no one knew anything about. Even if it truly existed, the legends still said that it had to follow the laws of the heavenly Daos. No one could defy it. However, this expert who had died for who knew so many years actually said such a thing calmly. These words caused Yu Ziokian's eyes to redden. This was an infatuated person, someone whose only thought was their beloved. This love had actually driven him for countless years. How could she not be moved? Senior, don't worry. I, Long Chen, will do all I can to fulfill this wish of yours. Long Chen cupped his fists and agreed to the elder's request. There was no way he could reject this elder's last wish. Nine star heirs truly are the most trustworthy figures. The elder's mouth trembled as if he wanted to smile, but the flesh of his head was already withered. He couldn't make such an expression. You will ran carry this senior. Long Chen turned to Guo Ran, causing the latter's face to instantly turn green. Chapter 3816 Full Moon Divine Rhinoceros Boss What do you mean? Me? With my status, how could I be worthy to carry senior? Guo Ran almost pissed himself in fright. This senior might not look like a bad person, but he was already a corpse. Even though just a corpse wouldn't frighten Guo Ran, those eyes were so terrifying. To carry someone whose eyes could destroy the world, Guo Ran shuddered at the thought. If you don't want to carry him, that's all right, too. I'll carry him. If we encounter any danger up ahead, you'll be the one dealing with it, 
said Long Chen lightly. Ah, never mind, let me. Gua Ran clenched his teeth. With goosebumps, he picked up the elder and carried him on his back. The elder's body was stiff, so Gua Ran couldn't carry him like a normal person. He had to bind the elder to his body. Gua Ran knew that if Long Chen carried this elder, if they encountered any danger up ahead, it would affect Long Chen's reactions. Hence, it would be better for Guo Ran to carry it instead. In order to feel a bit better, Guo Ran summoned his battle armor and wrapped it around himself. That gave him a sense of safety. Little hero, this is the keepsake of my wife. Take it. It can bring you to her, said the elder, extending his left hand. However, the elder's fist was still tightly clenched. He couldn't let go. Long Chen stared blankly at him. The elder said, I can't open my hand. I'll trouble you to pry it apart. Then my apologies. Looking at the withered fist, Long Chen apologized and grabbed his finger. Cut. The finger snapped off. Through this crack in the elder's fist, Long Chen withdrew a silver hairpin. It was small, perhaps only two inches long, but it was very elaborate and covered in delicate lines. It also gave off the aura of primal chaos. A tiny little hairpin actually possessed the ancient primal chaos Kai. That shocked everyone. This was probably an amazing divine item. The hairpin was in the shape of an elaborate flower. The flower's petals were all different colors, and it was a flower that they had never seen before. At the center was a crystal with a tiny needle that was constantly quivering, pointing in one direction. It's pointing toward the depths of the heavenly tomb. That's where we're going to. Mo Nyan eyed the needle and then checked the map. After entrusting the hairpin to Long Chen, the elder handed his staff to Guo Ran. This is my weapon. Help me take it. Buo ran overjoyed, thinking that the elder was giving him his weapon. He was about to thank the elder when the elder disappointed him. This weapon can only be used with pupil arts. It will disappoint you. Ah, what are you talking about? What disappointment? Carrying you is my life's honor. Although Guo ran was disappointed, he didn't express it. When Guo ran received the staff, he found that this seemingly heavy staff seemed to have no weight at all. It was extremely strange. After passing the staff to Guo Ran, the elder's eyes began to grow dim. His entire aura vanished as if he had truly died. However, Long Chen refused to believe that this elder that had lived all the way from the immemorial era would die so easily. They then continued onward. Full Moon Divine Rhinoceros they hadn't gotten far when Yu Ziyokian saw a giant skeleton and cried out in shock. Full moon divine rhinoceros, the immemorial species, the one whose horn can easily break space like cutting paper. Mo Nian was also startled. He had heard of this legendary existence. They had long since gone extinct. I'm not too sure, but we'll know if we look at its horn. Yu Ziyokian quickly rushed over to the skeleton and pulled it out of the mud. Its body wasn't particularly huge. It was only 30 meters tall, and its head was buried. Although its body had withered, it still gave off an astonishing aura. A three-foot-long rhinoceros horn quickly entered their eyes. They all gasped. It was like jade and had countless veins within it. It was like a beautiful ornament. They could vaguely see energy fluctuations inside of it. Treasure. Mo Nian gulped down his saliva. As someone with great vision, he could tell that it was definitely a treasure. Yu Ziopian carefully touched it. She noticed the tiniest of cracks located three inches below its nasal bone. Long Chen then took out the black dagger, but Yu Ziopian shook his head. The full moon divine rhinoceros is a spirit beast of heaven and earth. Its horn is also a spiritual item. It cannot be touched by tools of slaughter, or it will lose its spirituality. 
after so many years have passed this horn's spirituality has mostly faded if you use your dabber on it it will probably be destroyed you really know this much about it good thing you came or this treasure would have been destroyed by our hands said monayan gratefully although monayan and long chen had both heard of the full moon divine rhinoceros and also knew that its horn was an absolute treasure they had known this taboo when it came to taking it if it weren't for you Ziopian, even if they had noticed the full moon divine rhinoceros they would have destroyed this treasure as for guo ran and xia chen they had never heard of this legendary race so they were just watching like fools compared to the three of them it seemed that they were fools who knew nothing other than their own profession they saw you Ziopian, take out a comb it looked as if it had been carved out of the finest jade and it was extremely refined using the teeth of this comb she used it like a saw to lightly cut at the base of the horn curiously as the comb moved according to a certain rhythm the horn slowly loosened long chen and mo nian were both dumbfounded this is another gap in my learning as expected if a person wants to live long they have to continue learning until they are old praised mo nian Yu Ziokian's methods were so profound that he couldn't even tell what principle she was basing this on. The crack slowly grew. The horn looked like it was naturally falling. Ultimately, it landed in Yu Ziokian's hand. The part it had fallen from was glossy and clean, without the slightest damage. It made them click their tongues in wonder. Yu Ziokian lightly swung the horn through the air, and the tip cut a thin line in the void. It was like the void had been cleanly cut apart. Seeing this, everyone cried out. So the legends were true. The full moon divine rhinoceros's horn was capable of easily cutting through space. This is a life-saving divine item. I wonder if there's a method to nourish it. Looking at it now, it seems that it can't be used much before its spirituality runs out. If it was simply turned into trash, that would be far too wasteful, said Monayan. As long as it is nourished by someone's soul and isn't used too frequently, its energy will naturally recover. After all, even though this full moon divine rhinoceros died countless years ago, its horn is still intact. That means that it was incredibly powerful when it was alive, said Yu Ziokian. After saying that, Yu Ziokian handed the horn to Long Chen with a smile. I'll give it to you. Chapter 3817 Gathering Treasures, you're giving it to me? Long Chen was startled. Yes. After knowing you for so long, I don't recall ever giving you any decent gift. The full moon divine rhinoceros horn can only be used by someone with powerful spiritual strength. It's a requirement in order to control and nourish it. With it, you'll have a transcendent trump card, said Yu Ziokian. The full moon D, Ivine Rhinoceros Horn had the ability to break space, so the controller could essentially use it as a transportation formation. Furthermore, it was instantaneous, without spatial limitations. It was truly a life-saving trump card. Long Chen smiled. You foolish girl, first of all, I have enough power to protect myself, and second, my cultivation technique makes it so that I cannot rely on such things to save my life. Third, you need it more than me. But the most important point is that your life is more important than mine. This sappiness made it so Mo Nian couldn't help but interject, Hey, hey, we're still here. Ignoring myself, there are two other bachelors here. Take care not to influence them, you animals in love. Gua Ran and Zaya Chen rolled their eyes. This fellow's mouth was so sinister that it even dragged the two of them into it. Since Long Chen didn't want it, Yu Ziokian was embarrassed and handed it to Mo Nian. Then how about you take it? Your mouth is so toxic, and you're chased by countless people all day. You need it more. Are you looking down on me? My fleeing abilities are top-notch. 
do you think i need this said monayan your best asset isn't your fleeing abilities but your wretched mouth did you not realize that was what she was saying long chen couldn't help laughing damn you two are teaming up against me eh fine just wait until my zonying returns said mo nian fearlessly and then what when our sisters reunite you'll still be outnumbered teased you Ziokian. ah well it might be better for you to find a few junior sisters to accompany big sister zonying giggled you Ziokian. but this giggle contained a hint of craftiness mo nian shivered at the thought Liu Zonging was not one to accept such a thing. Such a thing would immediately cause a fatal blow. All right, count yourselves vicious. I admit defeat in this round. Mo Nian might dare to compete in other areas, but not in this one. Yu Ziopian ended up trying to give the full moon divine rhinoceros horn to Zaya Chen. He was a talisman cultivator with immense soul energy making him also capable of controlling it. However, Zaya Chen also refused to accept it, saying that he had enough power to protect himself. This was the treasure that Yu Ziokian had obtained through her own abilities. How could he possibly accept it? I feel like it suits me, said Gyua Ran shamelessly. But then he helplessly said, It's such a shame. With my pitiful spiritual strength, I just can't use it properly. Everyone laughed at that. Yuo Ren's spiritual strength was far too weak. Even after Long Chen had increased it many times, its growth was still limited. Since everyone else refused to accept it, Yu Ziopian could only keep it for herself. When she placed a drop of her essence blood containing her spiritual strength on the full moon divine rhinoceros horn, it instantly emitted blazing light. It easily accepted her as master. Its master had been dead for too long, so it had already produced its own consciousness. As Yu Ziokian was willing to feed it her own spiritual strength, it was like a drowning person grasping a lifeline. It seemed to feel even more urgent than Yu Ziokian. All alone here, without any energy supplementation, it would eventually wither away. Thus, it immediately accepted Yu Ziokian with the nourishment of that one drop of blood. The horn shrank until it was only just over an inch long. It ended up placing itself on top of her left hand's forefinger like a refined finger cover, looking like nothing more than a piece of jewelry. However, it possessed a terrifying space-breaking ability. Yu Ziokian was pleasantly surprised. With this, her ability to protect her own life had instantly risen by several levels. There was no way that she could be surrounded by people like last time. A while of searching later, Yuo Ran pulled out a giant broken sword from a pile of sand. It was over thirty meters long, and it seemed to be the weapon of some giant. It's too bad. Its divinity has mostly vanished and it's basically trash but there are still some runes on it that have some research value. Yuo Ran sighed and put away the sword. That's right, Yuo Ran, your luck is excellent. Everyone, let's split up but stay within a certain distance from each other. We'll rely on our own luck to search for things. Long Chen suddenly thought of how the dragon expert had said that due to how weak Yuo Ran was, the heavens would look after him. If everyone split up, perhaps this fellow would be able to find even better treasures rather than some broken sword. This is the heavenly tomb. Don't treat it lightly and don't get too far from each other. We have to be able to help each other at any moment, reminded Mo Nain. Everyone nodded. As for Kyo Ran, he was no longer afraid of the elder he was carrying. Everyone split up. Kyuo Ran and Zaya Chen went left, while Yu Ziokian and Mo Nain went right. As for Long Chen, he was holding the hairpin, so he was deciding their general direction. The five of them walked forward in a line. They were a few hundred miles from each other and could clearly sense each other's auras. 
Damn, boss, I found a jar and it's intact. Boss, I found another good saber. Ha 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 ha, it's a spatial ring. I can open it. I'm rich, I'm rich. Hugh O'Ran repeatedly cried out in delight. This fellow's luck was truly amazing. In less than an instant's stick's worth of time, he had found several items. Stop shouting about every little thing, just in case you end up drawing out some monster. Learn how to rejoice inside, ordered Long Chen. This fellow liked showing off too much. In truth, Long Chen's luck actually wasn't bad. He obtained several weapons. Although most of them were badly damaged, there were still some intact runes. They would be useful to Xia Chen and Kuo Ran. Other than weapons, Long Chen also pulled out a crystal from a devil beast's body. Although it had already shattered, there was still a trace of energy within it. Its value was also astonishing. They continued onwards, and every single one of them made gains. Long Chen found that his luck in the Three Thousand Worlds was clearly better compared to before. Perhaps the butterfly spirit race's blessing really was effective. Long Chen had ended up running into the ice soul as soon as he entered the Three Thousand Worlds. He almost couldn't believe that he had such luck. Now, he repeatedly found good stuff, so he was delighted by this feeling. It seemed that there weren't many times in his life that his luck was ever this good. Senior, I'm sorry. The skeleton of a human expert appeared in front of Long Chen. It had one knee on the ground, and its sword was stabbed into it. Although it had been dead for countless years, it refused to collapse. When Long Chen took its sword, the skeleton instantly turned into dust. This was also a world domain divine item. The sword and sheath were completely intact and undamaged. After inspecting them, Long Chen solemnly put them away. They continued onwards. Long Chen repeatedly found several good things. But suddenly, his expression changed. Kuo ran. What horrified Long Chen, Mo Nian, and the others was that there was no response from Guo Ran. When they looked for him, they found that he had bizarrely vanished. All their hearts rose up their throats. Chapter 3818 Heaven Swallowing Toad as Guo Ran had bizarrely vanished. Everyone jumped in horror. It happened too suddenly and out of nowhere. The four of them hastily rushed to Guo Ran's path. Fortunately, with his armor, he was leaving very clear footprints. Following those footsteps, they advanced and suddenly saw a giant skeleton head. The skeleton had a giant head and sharp teeth that were like pointed blades. Even after so many years, they hadn't decayed. They still gave off an incomparably sharp feeling. This skeleton had four short but powerful limbs. It also had a tail that was a bit like a crocodile's. But the proportions were all very odd. Its mouth was almost two-thirds of its body, so its head was huge while its body was small. Its body parts didn't seem to match very well. At this moment, its huge mouth was open as if it was roaring or eating something. It was just squatting there, like a mountain of bones sitting. It gave off a very frightening sense of pressure. Based on its form, it should be a legendary heaven-swallowing toad. Be careful. The heaven-swallowing race is very frightening, warned Long Chen. I thought that the heaven-swallowing toad only had three legs, said Mo Nian. No, the three-legged heaven-swallowing toad is called the heaven-swallowing golden toad, the emperor of the heaven-swallowing toad race. If it has four legs, it should be one, level weaker compared to the heaven-swallowing golden toad bloodline, explained Long Chen. After saying that, they continued following Guo Ren's footsteps. As expected, this fellow had directly gone to that heaven-swallowing toad's skeleton. Furthermore, with the distance between his footsteps, he was clearly running. It could be imagined that Guo Ran immediately thought that he had found a treasure when he spotted this skeleton, so he ran over excitedly. As they followed his footsteps, 
they saw that the footsteps suddenly vanished once Guo Ram reached the leg of the heaven-swallowing toad. Wait for me here. I'm going to take a look. Long Chen stepped forward alone, walking to where Guo Ran's footsteps vanished. The moment he stepped on that final footprint, light suddenly shot out of the heaven-swallowing toad's countless sharp teeth. Immense spatial energy then wrapped around Long Chen, and he vanished. Seeing this, Mo Nian, Zaya Chen, and Yu Ziopian all jumped in shock. It's devouring energy. Zaya Chen, guard the outside. Don't let its mouth close. We're going in too. Yu Ziopian also walked in. She had just stepped on that footprint when she also vanished. Mo Nian nodded. This is the entrance to the heaven swallowing toad's space inside its body. Brother, make sure not to let its mouth close. If you want, see if you can take out its teeth. Those are absolute treasures. Mo Nian patted Zaya Chen's shoulder and walked in as well, vanishing. What the fuck? Mo Nian had just entered an extremely spacious world when he let out a shocked cry. He saw endless gold and silver piled into mountains. This fellow Guo Ran was crazily running around and breaking the mountains of wealth, with Long Chen and Yu Ziokian helping as well. Who, the peak of a multicolored mountain, was forcibly ripped out of the ground. It rolled toward Mo Nian. This thousand-mile mountain was composed entirely of various immortal metals fused together. Its weight was unimaginable. Mo Nian hastily dodged to the side as the mountain smashed into the ground beneath his feet. We're rich. We're rich. Guo Ran flew over and hugged that mountain, his limbs dancing with excitement. Little fellow, your luck really is amazing. This heaven-swallowing toad was probably a terrifying existence when it was alive. It devoured so many treasures. Seeing that Guo Ran was fine and had actually found such a land of treasures, Mo Nian couldn't help praising him enviously. What's amazing about it? Without us, if he came in alone, he wouldn't be able to leave. He'd be trapped to death here, said Long Chen. Yu Ziokian said, This heaven-swallowing toad was a terrifying existence when it was alive. It devoured an unknown number of experts. It's also a metal-devouring beast, specialized in devouring various kinds of immortal metal. Once immortal metal enters its body, it can use its power to become impervious to blade or spear. All this immortal metal is its best essence. If it is refined, it will be of incalculable wealth. Hee hee, the first thing I thought of when I saw all these immortal metals is that I can now create powerful dragon blood battle armor and dragon blood battle swords. At that time, when all our brothers in the dragon blood legion are gathered once more, we'll be fully equipped. HMPH, anyone who dares to get arrogant in front of me will get flicked away by their underpants. Yuo Ran was extremely pleased. It was like he could already see the scene of him directing the Dragon Blood Legion once more. Hurry up and gather it all. Xia Chen will get worried if we take too long, said Long Chen, continuing to tear out the mountains. Some of these mountains were tens of thousands of miles tall. However, the entire mountain wasn't actually top tier. It was the area above the waist of the mountain that was the best. The rest at the bottom was much worse in comparison. As for the stuff at the foot of the mountain, it was practically trash. This was related to the cultivation base of the heaven-swallowing toad. When it was young and weak, it could only devour some lower grade immortal metals to strengthen itself. As its cultivation base grew, so did its power, and it began to devour better immortal metals. The immortal metals at the peak of the mountains were the very best materials to make world domain divine items. Before this, Guo Ran and Xia Chen were even anxious about how they were supposed to get so many materials. As a result, what they thought about directly came to them. After severing the peaks of several mountains, they had enough materials to fully equip every single dragon blood warrior. 
in order to save time, they only took the best parts. After all, it was quite taxing to gather them all. Other than the mountains, Long Chen also found another region. That was a black swamp. It was a land of death. Even immortal metals would corrode on contact with it, and world domain divine items would vanish. When Hu Ran saw a hole in the sword that he used to test the black water, he jumped in shock. What kind of water is this? It's so terrifying. It's the heaven swallowing toad's stomach acid. It's its strongest killing tool. Once it devours its enemies, it is fated that they will die here. That is its most terrifying point. Its stomach is its strongest weapon, said Yuzayokian. Boss, what are you looking at this thing for? Are you serious? Yuo Ran couldn't help speaking up when he saw Long Chen looking at the black water so studiously. Don't you feel that this is good stuff? said Long Chen. Boss, you're really going to? Yuo Ran instantly thought of the netherworld's water that Long Chen had once brought back for him. It's no good. This thing will corrode any receptacle. However, Guo Ran quickly shook his head. Back then, he had something that could resist the corrosion of the netherworld's water. But he didn't have anything for this. I have a method. Suddenly, Yu Ziaokian spoke up. Chapter 3819 Core of the Heavenly Tomb When Yu Ziaokian formed hand seals, runes flowed out of her hands. After that, vast water element fluctuations appeared, and Yu Ziaokian's body actually became surrounded by water kai. Ziaokian, when did you become a water element cultivator? Long Chen stared at her in shock. Long Chen's impression was that the original devil race's energy was not spiritual Yuan or spiritual Kai. It was simply original devil energy and was completely different from other energy. Also, he had never heard of Yu Ziaokian being able to control water element energy. Yu Ziaokian smiled. In the mortal world, the original devil race's disciples must focus on cultivating original devil energy as a solid foundation. After ascending and igniting my divine flame, my energy underwent a second awakening. Turns out, my latent talent was in water, so now I can control water element energy. Then why didn't I see you use any water element energy when you fought Xi Yang? Were you still holding back? asked Long Chen. No. Both my original devil energy and water element energy come from the same source. I can freely transform one into the other. But the water element had no effect on Xi Yang, so I only used the original devil energy to suppress him, explained Yu Ziaokian. As she formed hand seals, the water kai in the air grew denser. Finally, the black water in the swamp slowly flowed up. Yuzai Okian's hand seals then changed and the water energy around her flowed into the black water. When the two met, water Kai exploded. It even corrodes other water. They were all shocked by this reaction. Water and water should be able to mix, no. However, when Yuzai Okian's water energy met this black water, it was like landing on red-hot steel. A disgusting stench then appeared, causing Yuo Ran to instantly feel dizzy and almost collapse. Close your pores, Long Chen shouted. This resulting explosion was toxic. If they only absorbed a small amount, it wouldn't be fatal. But who knew whether it would continue to harm the body? It was better to be careful. How terrifying! Just inhaling a little bit of its vapor was enough to make me pass out. Yuo Ran was gobsmacked. This vapor was not just the black water, but also the result of Yu Ziaokian's water energy being evaporated. It was only contaminated with the slightest trace of the black water's energy, but already possessed such a terrifying effect. If someone were to consume the black water directly, then not even 10,000 lives would be enough to survive it. Noveloon, come at this moment. Yu Ziaokian's water energy twisted, and countless runes condensed into the form of a water dragon. It devoured a portion of the black water, 
turning it into a foot-wide spear in its mouth. A translucent membrane appeared around the black sphere of water. There were countless runes flowing within this thin membrane that tightly sealed the black water. When this spear of black water floated toward Gua Ran, he was too afraid to touch it. Big sister King Shuin, this water film of yours is secure, right? Don't worry. It's very sturdy. Yu Xiopian smiled. Just as Guo ran, reached out to touch it, the water spear suddenly smashed into the ground. As a result, Guo ran screamed in fright and jumped into the sky. However, the water spear simply bounced back up. It bounced a few more times before just lying on the ground. Nothing happened. Looking at Yuo Ran's terrified appearance, Mo Nian and Long Chen couldn't help laughing. Yu Xiaokian also hadn't expected Yuo Ran to be that terrified, so she felt a bit bad. Din, that's amazing. I'm not worried anymore. Yuo Ran didn't get angry. He excitedly held the black sphere of water. When we get back, you and Xia Chen can place a detonation talisman on it. Then you can use it as a trump card, said Yu Xiopian. She continued working. One sphere after another was extracted out of the black swamp. After two hours, over a hundred thousand such spheres had appeared. The smaller ones were only a foot thick, while the bigger ones were over ten meters. After all, Yu Xiopian was being cautious and improvising. She gradually gained greater control over these water spears. With over a hundred thousand spears of water gathered, the swamp was completely emptied. Originally, Long Chen was planning on turning the primal chaos space's black soil into receptacles for this water. However, it was much more convenient for Yu Xiopian to do it. This black water looked like water, but it was actually sticky stomach acid with a terrifying corrosion ability. It was fatally toxic. Gathering it all was equivalent to gaining a terrifying trump card. Even against an army of supreme experts, once this black water was released, large masses of them would be annihilated. Such a terrifying existence also died here. Just how disastrous was the battle from back then? After the metal mountains and black water were all gathered, Looking at this empty, spacious world, Mo Nian couldn't help sighing. This was the heaven-swallowing toad's stomach. Even though it had died countless years ago, this space was still stable. From this, it could be seen just how powerful it was. The immemorial era's life-forms were nourished by primal chaos Kai. Their power isn't something that we can imagine. Long Chen sighed along with him. After entering the three thousand worlds, he was amazed by what he saw. He had never imagined that this world had such terrifying life forms. Compared to them, he was still too little. Let's go. We can't stay for too long, or Xia Chen will worry, said Yu Xiopian. She was now slightly pale after gathering all the black water. That thing clearly wasn't easy to gather. Everyone nodded. When Gyo Ran first entered this place, he had already made a marker. That was the spatial node. However, when he attacked that spatial node, he awkwardly found that no matter what he did, he was unable to break the space here. At this moment, Yu Xiaokian lightly swiped her finger through the air. A sharp light then came from the full moon divine rhinoceros horn, and a large cut appeared in the void, revealing the outside world. Amazing. This full moon divine rhinoceros horn was truly a divine item. Originally, Long Chen was planning on using the black dagger to break through the space here, but now there was no need to do that. The four of them walked out of the spatial crack and saw Xia Chen in the midst of delicately gathering the teeth of the heaven swallowing toad. How were your gains? asked Xia Chen happily when he saw them come out safe and sound. Based on my luck, we naturally had huge gains. It seems that you didn't do badly either. Seeing Xia Chen arranging the teeth according to a certain pattern, it seemed that he had discovered something. 
he he i picked up a treasure this time a full seventy-two teeth with every single one of them being comparable to a top-grade world domain divine item furthermore they have natural formation marks i've just started studying them but they are amazing i feel like this set of teeth is not at all weaker than the full moon divine rhinoceros horn that big sister Ziochian found brother i'm sorry but although you discovered this thing it's going to me said zaya chan excitedly yuaran laughed as he had gained even more there were the metal mountains and the black acid water when he was about to show them off to zaya chen long chen interrupted them let's keep going there are treasures all over it's a rare opportunity so don't waste time there should be even more treasures deeper in they continued going deeper into the heavenly tomb however as they continued onwards they found no more skeletons strangely it was only an endless barren wasteland they spent a whole day walking through this wasteland if it weren't for the hairpin still pointing them in one direction and the map that mo nyan was making they might have thought that they were going the wrong way suddenly long chen and mo nyan paused in front of them was a giant cave this entire cave was composed of endless bones emitting death kai from the inside it seems that this is the true heavenly tomb eyeing this cave mo nyan's expression grew serious chapter three thousand eight hundred twenty life and death gates this is the real tomb asked Hua ran Hua ran assumed that the heavenly daos had simply wrapped up some areas unexpectedly this looked more like an ordinary tomb with the remains buried underground a heavenly tomb contains something that the heavenly daos wished to be buried legend has it that only in an age of great loss will a heavenly tomb appear the heavenly daos view all life forms within heaven and earth as their children so when too many life forms die all at once the heavenly daos feel sorrow and bury some of them together said mo nyan not necessarily at the very least i have never sensed any kindness from the heavenly daos said long chen curling his mouth perhaps you're an illegitimate child so they don't love you laughed mo nyan he also knew just how bad long chen's luck was for him heavenly tribulation even became heavenly punishment mo nyan had never managed to figure out why the heavenly daos would treat long chen like that at this moment they arrived at the cave entrance this cave made out of bones was rather strange the sides of the bones were in strange positions matching each other from left to right it didn't look like something natural it was more like an altar that someone made mo nyan walked around this entrance for a long time constantly scribbling something down an image quickly appeared on the paper that made the others gasp this image was that of a giant fiendish devil as for the cave entrance it was the devil's mouth sanding at just the cave mouth they couldn't see the full picture but after mo nyan drew this they all felt chills not good this is a death gate said mo nyan what are you talking about asked long chen a tomb always has a life gate and a death gate they are what maintain the function of the tomb let me put it to you this way consider the tomb to be a living creature that needs to breathe air in and out that will make sure it maintains its function the life gate is where it breathes in from it is life kai the life kai nourishes the corpses preventing them from rotting if someone continuously offers sacrifice to the dead their faith energy will allow the fallen's heroic spirit to persevere such a heroic spirit can maintain the karmic luck of future generations moreover the tomb will also have some treasures used to maintain that karmic luck and such cough don't look at me like that i mo nyan am not someone greedy for wealth i simply pursue the truth of history through my archaeology cried mo nyan when he saw them looking at him disdainfully 
but they refused to believe him. In order to cover up his embarrassment, he continued, as for the death gate, it is where the death kai is expelled. The life kai is absorbed by the corpse, and then part of the body's death kai is expelled. This death kai will contain the fallen's resentment, hatred, unwillingness, anger, fear, and other negative emotions. Once they are mixed together into the death kai and expelled, the area outside the death gate naturally becomes a wasteland where not a single blade of grass can grow. The gravekeepers will always treat the death gate as more important than the life gate. Do you know why? Molnayan looked at them. But even after waiting a long time, no one said anything. Molnayan awkwardly asked, Are none of you interested? Oh, uh, why? Zaya Chen acted curious for him. Because the death gate has to be constantly cleaned up to make sure that the death kai is perfectly expelled. If it stays within the tomb, it will produce terrifying evil corpses. Even if it doesn't reach the point of producing evil corpses, some smaller beasts or even insects might go in and be infected by that death kai. They'll instantly die, but then they'll be reborn as mutated existences. I often see some mutated insect corpses. Their teeth can tear through the strongest armor, and they are even toxic. If you're bitten by one, you'll definitely die. This heavenly tomb has no one cleaning up the death gate. Furthermore, in all the areas around this entrance, we didn't see a single skeleton. I'm worried that everyone's heart thudded. Are you saying that the skeletons might already turn into evil corpses and enter the tomb? That is very possible. If my guess is correct, if we go in, we'll immediately face immemorial evil corpses. With our current power, it'll probably be no different than sending ourselves to our death, said Mo Nyan. Then let's go in through the life gate. Upon hearing about the possibility of encountering immemorial evil corpses, Guo Ran felt chills. He didn't want to run into those immemorial monsters. We cannot. The life gate is on the other side of the heavenly boundary line. We can't go over there. Mo Nian shook his head. He passed the map he had drawn to Guo Ran. As expected, the entire heavenly tomb was split in two by the heavenly boundary line. Mo Nian had calculated where the life gate was just now. It was on the other side of the heavenly boundary line, perfectly facing the death gate. Then what can we do? Why don't we just keep searching the outer region? It's so huge that there's more than enough space for us to look through, proposed Guo Ran. Long Chen shook his head and looked at the hairpin. This senior's beloved is within the tomb. After being entrusted with this mission, we must carry it out. Furthermore, we've already reached this point. Who cares about some life gate or death gate? How can we not take a look? I say, Mo Nyan, can you not keep us all in suspense? We all know that gravarubbing is your profession. Don't act so mysterious. Just tell us what you want us to do. Toward the end, Long Chen looked at Mo Nian disdainfully. He refused to believe that the master Gravarobber would not have any way of dealing with this situation. Mo Nian was definitely setting up a suspenseful atmosphere intentionally to then display his abilities. After being exposed by Long Chen, Mo Nian awkwardly said, Cough, there is a way but I'm just making sure that everyone is careful. After all, I've never gone into a heavenly tomb. We cannot be careless. Careless, my ass. You almost made me piss myself. Brother Mo, Daddy Mo, can you not make things seem worse on purpose? This place is already frightening enough. Yu Oran didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Ever since they entered here, Mo Nian had been setting up such an atmosphere. Yuo Ran was incredibly tense. He felt like his soul might flee in terror. Then, since everyone understands the danger, come over here. Wear this. Mo Nian distributed robes to everyone. These robes also had head coverings. Once Long Chen and the others wore them, 
they looked as though they were dressed like demons. They were frightened by their own appearance. Monayan, you aren't really trying to make me piss myself in fear, are you? Gyo Ran couldn't help asking. What are you talking about? These robes have a special aura that can make evil corpses think that we are one of them. They won't attack us, said Monayan. After they were dressed up, they slowly walked toward the giant cave. An evil wind occasionally blew out from the mouth of the cave, making all their hair stand on end. Even Long Chen was holding on to the hilt of the Minghong saber without being aware of it. His right hand was holding Yu Ziyokin's hand. They were all afraid of some danger. They walked into the cave. It was pitch black inside. Once they were thirty meters in at the rear, Gyu Ran suddenly cried out, causing everyone's heart to clench.